You all see that Death Stranding trailer? I did not actually. I was out with my. Uh, uh, it's ten minutes dad. long. It ends four times. It's great. It ends four times. Yeah, it's, it's one of those trailers where you're like, oh, that's the up. Oh, nope, they just picked up in a different scene because screw it. Uh, Death Stranding is a pretty, uh, I want to say consistent game and it's aesthetic theming. Uh, uh -huh. and, and like the, the things that show up in the game are pretty, despite it being strange at a glance, you're like, yeah, all right. You got hands everywhere. You got the baby. All, all the tech mm. looks like really together. Um, you have like a marionette that hangs out on your belt this time that's at a different frame rate that makes like demon faces like it's an anime mascot. Um, that's so that's cool. There's like a pirate dude. Higgs has a guitar that he fights with and he like plays it and shoots electricity like it's Dante. Uh, it appears that Lou is controlling a giant samurai robot. Or some BB <laughs> is controlling a giant samurai robot that fights, um, uh, Higgs. You use real guns this time. Uh, and, uh, more tentacles. It was, it was pretty, it was, it was pretty cool because it's just, Death Stranding's awesome. So, it was already at 11, let's turn it up to... Uh, 21, I guess. Mm -hmm. Um, so that looked cool. Uh, Stellar Blade got a trailer. I'm talking about the state of play, by the way. Uh, on, uh, January 31st here. Uh, Stellar Blade got a trailer. That game, I hope, is really good. Because it looks really good. It's got good aesthetics. It's got good tone. And, uh, every shot in the trailer had the main character in a different sexy outfit. Uh... Because they know what people are playing, like, are interested in that game for. Um, Rise of the Ronin looks outstanding. That game looks fucking incredible. Uh, like, holy shit, does that game look good combat-wise. Uh, Team Ninja knows how to make an action game. Yeah, I, I, I hope so, because obviously we, you and I didn't play... Uh... Well, long, but apparently it it, it hadn't it wasn't quite it. It, 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 was, it was it was smaller scope. It, it was smaller scope. It, it was it was a much smaller game. It, it was a lot more limited. Whereas like Neo was, you know, Neo Two had a, any game that puts in a system where you can use enemy moves mm -hmm. and just steal shit like that. Uh, that shit's good. But this game was like. I, I, you, you'd have to look at it for yourself. It, it was hard to comprehend what exactly was happening, but it, it looked really, really good. Um, uh, the the fucking jumping forward Y attack from Ninja Gaiden appeared to be in it, so I was happy. So it actually looks more Ninja Gaiden almost than uh, than like Neo or uh, Wo Long. Um, it's kind of cool too because it it, it uh. It looks like Assassin's Creed. Like, there's clearly Assassin's Creed um, influence in there. Um, and and the big thing to note is uh, how the camera lock-on positions itself. So, you play Dark Souls, you play Neo, you play Sekiro, whatever. It's, you lock on straight ahead, and then there's kind of some, some slack for your character to move, like, pretty much in the middle of your screen, but it always centers the enemy. It doesn't keep your guy centered, but... Yeah, you can kind of... It would be like if you moved to the... If you hit, like, the thirds of the the screen, then the camera would latch, and you would it would start to move then, and then it would recenter and whatnot. This game, it was like... Your lock-on, like, left you... Like, say, say Tomi there is, like, the enemy I'm fighting. It would lock on mm -hmm. like this. So you'd always have this, like... Uh, this, like, 45-degree uh, angle shot, I guess you could say. Um, instead of, like, this... Or mm -hmm. like, or like this, you'd almost, you'd be at like. Yeah, which game has the forty-five degree angle? Ro Rise of the Ronin. Rise of the Ronin um, will look like this, and okay. it just looked really fucking good. Yeah, that, that sounds cool. Um, like 
uh, there was assassination stuff in the game. Like, you drop, like, their, their stamina bar, and it doesn't instantly kill them. And I said, fuck yeah, it doesn't instantly kill them. I hate that shit. Get back up and fight me, bitch. Um, there's different weapons. You can just use a gun, because it's the Bakumatsu era. So there's just guns. Um, you have a grappling hook, you have a glider, your horse, like, magically appears underneath you. Like, that game is gonna flow. Uh, really excited for that. Um, and then a month later, Stellar Blade comes out. So, I, that's, there's at least a month gap in between games I'm interested in playing, I guess. Stellar uh, Blade is Korean? Am I, it, it, I believe it is a Korean, uh, action game. Uh, I'd like to see more of the action aspects, but, uh, it kind of, uh, I'm hoping it's just solid. Like, it definitely, it definitely looks like it's more of, like, a spectacle fighter kind of thing than, um, uh, I'm not, I'm not expecting DMC from a first time around game from a Korean studio, but hey, you never, you never know. Like, Man, my... you know, Wo Long looks fuck, or not Wo Long, fuck me, uh, Bla uh, Wukong Black Myth. Uh, yes, that exactly. looks, that, that. That looks really impressive, uh, considering it's Neo and games should be Neo. Do I hold Neo the highest in regard to action games? Um, hmm, it's possible. Ne Neo Two's pretty up there for me. L l like in a weird way, it like almost shouldn't because like while it is amazing, like there is still a bit of like jank to it. Um, I guess Monster Hunter is probably the best. Yeah, Monster Hunter. Probably Mo Monster Hunter, like, Hunter is like on like, on. Nothing comes close to that game. Yeah. Like the the whoever what Madman designed those weapon systems. I mm. have to give them massive props. But like yeah, because but man, man, Neo 2's like yeah, Neo is really good. structurally like, and just everything. It's it's so good. Um, I, w I will say. There are, uh, it, it can be a little bit button mashy at times, though, in, like, a negative way. Where, like, you could potentially just kind of, like, kill a cer certain bosses by just spamming good moves. Which I do, th which I would say is a fault of the design. Part of the fact that it's half an RPG, though. Right? So, I, I don't even want to call it fault of the design, because that just, like, you know, mm -hmm. skill's not just the buttons you press, it's the build you put on your character, right? Yeah, um, and, 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 like, right, that, that, that's, that's a fair point. I, like, generally, because I'm, like... I kind of hate art action game RPGs. Like, they're my favorite games because they're good action games, but I often don't like the RPG half of the, the game. The RPG <laughs> part can definitely take away from it. L a bit. Like, like it's like, obviously, I love Dark Souls and all those games, and like, like Bloodborne's really good because like the RPG is very light, right? Your build matters, but it's not like yeah, you're you're, you're hitting requirements. You're not hitting yeah, uh, but like thresholds. But like, but like Dark Souls is actually kind of weird how you can actually one-shot bosses with magic spells it's like that doesn't yeah. seem right <laughs> um <laughs> luckily that's like yeah it's it's yeah that's but, um, not happen. hopefully that's not happening the first time through the game yeah. <laughs> elden ring um, um but, but the, 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 the beast reared its ugly head in elden ring uh where <laughs> uh it was it felt way more that your rpg mechanics mattered than your skill mechanics because of how tough oh, everything yeah. was. No, it was you, you need to have were. the strongest fucking thing available because the boss uh, is the strongest thing ever. Neo, Neo like, definitely like is, is is like that to a degree, but yeah. it's um it's a lot better of a conversation between you and the and the the boss you're fighting though, typically. Mm -hmm. Um even if like yeah, the the axe go burr um as you power through everything. Yeah. Like obviously my favorite action game is going to be Kingdom Hearts, Kingdom Hearts 2, 2. Yeah, right? because nothing and, and like it. And while it is an RPG, it is more like you are just turning on, you're getting abilities throughout the game and have just AP and stuff. Yeah. So even if you get to level 99 and have all the abilities, it's not like you're overpowered. You just have all your tools. Yeah. Um, yeah. More so. Which are overpowered, mind you, but... <laughs> well, yeah, mind you, It's but, a little bit yeah. different. <laughs> yeah, that, that all... That all looked good. There was no Final Fantasy VII stuff because they're doing their own FF7 Rebirth state of yeah, play next week. Yeah, that makes They're just, um, yeah, just... And then, uh, what else did they show up? I guess there was, it, funnily enough, there was Silent Hill stuff in it, which then it had the Death Stranding trailer at the end. Yeah, and then I after forget... the Death Stranding trailer, Kojima said he's he's he didn't say he's making Metal Gear, another Metal Gear Solid game after 
uh, Death Stranding 2, but he kind of just said, I'm going to make a stealth action espionage game after Death Stranding 2. Fair enough. Oh, also, Death Stranding 2, I don't know if we learned this last time, but it has a subtitle. Mm -hmm. Did you did it you know is. that? Uh, on the no. Beach. It's literally called On the Beach. It, yeah. Race was joking. Yeah, Death Stranding 2 uh, on the Beach. That's really funny. Uh, what else was there? That, that means there's, there's going to be a scene where someone be, makes Sam, Sam a sex on the beach cocktail and, go, and talks about the entire history of uh, cocktails and uh, cool and stuff like that. It'll be Good. fun. Good. <laughs> uh, oh, I guess there was a Dragon's Dog with trailer. It'll, I didn't probably, actually probably, watch. I didn't actually it'll probably, watch it. It'll I was probably be Hard else. Man, not to be confused with <laughs> Die Hard Man. Die Hard Man, yeah. <laughs> to be confused not with Dead Man. man. <laughs> um. But I guess I they didn't say, show up uh, too I much forget, stuff there. What? I, I've, I've lost I've lost the continuity in my head. What has been the situation with Silent Hill? Uh, uh, Konami sucks. Uh, right, obviously, but now they need money. Because like, obviously like 10 years ago at this point, PT was happening. We were getting Silent Hills. Konami died, effectively. They didn't make any Silent Hills since then. And now they're making a Silent Hill? They're remaking two. They're remaking two. There's a phone game. Okay. There was the interactive TV show where you could get the epic TV wallpaper. Show. Right, with the epic wallpaper. Of the goat shed or whatever the fuck it was. Mm -hmm. Um, I think there's another phone game. They're putting out another PT, quote unquote, even though it's they're just saying it's a Silent Hill demo that's going to be exactly like PT, I guess. I, I, I didn't see the specifics on it, but that's just, that's just what Nick said. He was like, yeah, it's PT. And I went, okay. Uh, and then I think there are... They may be announced an actual another Silent Hill. I'm not an expert. I don't. I don't. I don't pay close attention to uh, to Konami. Uh, and then I think as the other thing, I don't know if this was that state of play, but it got announced today was um, a Sonic Generations re-release master, but it'll have Shadow uh, campaign. And unfortunately, this uh, this actually fires something off inside of me, which upsets me greatly. Uh, but they show a remake of his final level from Sonic Adventure 2, and I and uh, Monkey Brain get happy. Uh, they show Bio Lizard and Monkey Brain get happy. Uh, I will not be buying that or playing that in any capacity. Uh, yeah, and, however, an odd choice a remake of Generations. Obviously, people liked it well enough, but <clears throat> or. Uh... Remaster, whatever it is. Yeah, and I like Shadow, and that was the thing. It was like Sh Shadow's cool. I don't know. Se Sega. Mm, wait, hold on. They might hear us. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Say, say, I, say, yeah. Save it for a different playthrough. Yeah, before so I, would, I wouldn't <laughs> imagine uh, Sonic Generations to be the uh, break cl glass in case of emergency type thing, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, Probably better than anything they put out recently or in the last. Uh, I mean, it's, it's well, it's, I guess it's, it's true. Oh, well, um, I guess it really just was like Sonic Mania. People like that. Sonic Frontiers. It was ass, probably. Frontiers well, was bad. I'm going with That's Frontiers cool. was bad. I, I don't think a 3D Sonic game that has boost or uh, is not Sonic Adventure 2. I just don't get it. Like, Sonic Adventure 2 is just a fucking, like, fast platformer. And it works. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't understand boost. I don't get yeah, that's it. right. The Fate Stay Night is getting an official yeah. English release. Yeah, yeah, Fate, Fate Stay Night, finally. But finally. I hope they keep the sex scenes on the Switch. It'd be really funny. It'd be pretty funny. Uh, give me one second. I have something stuck in my teeth and it's driving me crazy. Okay. <clears throat> anyway, a quick review of uh, State of Play. It's all right, I guess. Now to sit bla black. Mm. 
That's it. Black and enjoy Yakuza. You'd have to say reacts. Cause you, you, t you stole the L from relax. <laughs> it's being <Chicha>. black. <laughs> Hey, Maybe there's a black facing job. Without you. Yeah, I can see Oh, that. all the jobs are. Money the the fucking predator bonuses just spoil sure. all Go the jobs it. that are in the game. So, like, all the ones from 7 are in the game. Oh, yeah. And it just the tells you who your, the party members are drinking. if you didn't even know. Was, uh, oh, incident. okay. <laughs> Which, luckily, the, the promotion yeah. material kind of showed that off, but spot. I was like, oh, right, okay. Right, right. You got drugged and tossed out in public. Buck naked. Yeah, how'd you do that? Maybe you ought to be more careful, just so it doesn't happen again. Man, that feels like forever ago. A lot sure changed, huh? When I first came to Hawaii, I didn't know a single soul. But now it's like, I've got the whole gang here. Oh, well, goes to show you're a real popular guy. You always end up making friends left and right. You make it look so easy. Is it really? <laughs> Personally, I think I've got way more enemies. Yeah, fair. The two of us sitting like this actually reminds me of the time I drank with my dad. I gotta go. Your dad? Oh, you mean the head of the Fujinomiya family? Oh, well, everyone calls him the chairman. He's surrounded by associates at all times. But his real family? Well... We're just for show. For real? What the actual heck? If you're representing the great Fujinomiya group, then you gotta be the perfect dad. Adored by all, and especially by your family. We're just accessories to help sell that image. Whenever we take a family photo, there'd be an entire camera crew. <laughs> Felt like we were posing for a company commercial. If I were rich, I'd want a fancy family photo, too. I guess you don't really like your dad. You're taking over the company after him? Well, I need style points right now. And I think the top one's giving me style. Well, if I were rich, I'd want a fancy family God photo, damn it. too. Maybe it's not all about protecting his image. Yeah, I wish. But my family's pretty dysfunctional, you know. Did you drink with your dad a lot? Huh? You said this reminded you of that earlier, didn't you? Oh, guess I did. I only ever drank with him once, though, just before I came here. Didn't even have fun, either. Drinking alone with your parent is just awkward. I wouldn't know. I never had a chance to drink with either of mine. Oh, God. I'm sorry. No, don't worry about it. Anyway, what did you guys even talk about, then? Hmm. What was it again? Stuff about how much our company's stocks were worth? He went on about restructuring, about what sucked, and about making cuts. Maybe that's all he could think about. So that was the only way he could pass the time. Okay then, but why were you two drinking together in the first place? My dad invited me out. We didn't know how long I'd be in Hawaii at the time. Since we wouldn't be seeing each other for a while, maybe he wanted to give parenting a shot. Even if it was just a formality. You don't have to be so negative about everything, you know? <laughs> you know, I'm kind of jealous of you, Ichiban. Of who now? Because, <laughs> like, you love your parents so much. You even came all the way to Hawaii to meet one of them. I don't think I could ever see my parents that way. It's a personal problem, though. Mm. Well, the Fujinomiya family sure is a special case. Everyone's family situation's bound to be different person to person, though. Guess neither of our families can be considered normal. Maybe that's why we can't help but talk about them. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Having a drink with you is kind of relaxing, Ichiban. Oh yeah? <laughs> well, I'm having a great time too. So don't go drugging me again, all right? No promises. <laughs> Sorry, but what was that again? I can't keep track of every little incident. 
<laughs> exactly what a big shot would say. <laughs> Fuck you, Ichimon. Tag team, Tango for two. You mean by something like some ramen broth? Oh yeah, that's how you want to be. Next time you're thirsty, I'll hand you some ponzu sauce. Hope you don't mind. Wow, so you're the type to hold a grudge. The drink link. The drink. Oh, Ichiban. You got a minute? I wanted to ask something. Me? Sure. I'm always down. I, and not to get too heavy, but it's uh, about Marie again. I gotta yeah, go. You remember? After I went to prison, she pretty much vanished from the earth. Figured she never wanted me to look for her. And I'm fine with that. If she's happy somewhere. So I, uh, I got in touch with some old friends we had. Ones I haven't seen since. I asked if any of them had heard from her. I know how she's doing. Holy shit, did you find anything out? Is she okay? Long story short, yeah, probably. I don't know 100% yet. Hmm. Aren't you relieved? Gotta say, you don't look too happy. Isn't this exciting? That was intellect? What for? Yeah, I guess so. It's just. I had no clue until now. I couldn't even assume she was still alive. So why don't you seem more relieved? Marie's friend told me that while I was locked up, she knows die bad. She'd already quit her job for the baby, but then she lost touch with everyone else in her life. She might have left Hawaii entirely at that point, according to them. Really? Well, that could be why you didn't find anything when you first looked. Yeah. But recently, someone saw her on a beach here in the city. She's back in the old neighborhood. Uh, apparently, she looks all right from a distance. Well, what are you going to do? Tell me. Marie uh, may be back on her feet. But for all I know, she only got there by burying the past. In that case, she could very well want me to stay forgotten. But, no way. She wouldn't think that. And there's... You know, what have I done besides lick your mice boots since I got out again? If I saw Marie today, what would she think of me? Meanwhile, she could be with a new guy. Hell, she could have a new family by now. Ah, <sighs> Tommy. I'm sorry, you didn't sign up for this today. <laughs> I just... <laughs> what am I supposed to do? In your imagination, Marie would really never want to think about you again? Yeah... I mean, why would she? Look, forget it. I shouldn't have brought this shit up. Just, uh... Tell me one thing, honestly. What would you do in my place? You're me. Would you really go look her up? You have to find her. Tell me, there's you gotta no know. other choice, is there? She's back. You have to go find her again. At least talk to her. No, I do have Yeah, you gotta talk to her. And there's a wrong option. If Marie's happiness depends on never seeing my face again, I owe it to her. Send her a letter. Up. But the thing is... Like, if you happen to find out where she lives, just, you know, it might be weird, Nothing will but... ever be certain until you see it with your own eyes. Understand? You're worrying, well, what if she doesn't want to see you? Well, what if she's in trouble and needs help? Uh, there are goons everywhere, Tommy. If you really can't do it yourself, I can go check up on her for you. Promise, don't let this opportunity pass you by. It'll keep haunting you forever if you do. Easy, by me. And... Uh, Sorry if I was out of line there. Out of line? No! I, I needed you more than I realized. Thank you. You really helped me. <laughs> cool. You're right. All I know is that Marie or someone who looks like her is in town. Unless I see for myself, everything else is my mind running wild on me. <laughs> I hope she's doing well. So do I. <laughs> Even if that means she's got no room in her life for me. 
Yeah, you know, if I can be sure that she's happy, I'll be okay. <sighs> You're a hell of a guy, Tommy. Is it me, or do you sound sad now? Well, this might undermine my advice, but the truth is, I'm in the lurch, too. I proposed to this girl a while back, and she still hasn't given me an Yeah, answer. a whole year's pretty rough. Whoa, whoa, like, like she I was am. our, our buddy. <laughs> I was afraid you'd say that. Shit. You need advice from me? Uh, let me think. <laughs> Tell me, find Marie first, and then we'll get to my problems. <laughs> All right, but man, talk about ending on a sour note. Yeah, that's why you end chats like this with drinks, not words. Well said. Great. I really, I really appreciate, uh, tell me here like not non and adachi are were funny because it was like old men with ichiban What's yeah and, and adachi and and uh uh ichiban definitely felt like pretty tight um but adachi was also like a massive idiot <laughs> um so this it, definitely feels like the best bro character Do I have any gotcha tickets all right, I think we, um, I think we need to go fight someone in Sujimon. Do we now? Yeah, you I have to, you say? <laughs> I, 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 th I think we need to look at this. No, you're right. I think it has to happen. Um, because, because I got dudes now. Oh, also, so, tried out some jobs, right? And, uh, it became pretty apparent pretty quickly uh -huh. that, um, Kiryu should not be changed. Uh, until something comes up that's, like, super good, Kiryu, uh, his default job, his unique job, um, like, look at the stat differences here. Like, Action Star is a physical focus thing. Look how look at the fucking stat differences here on Dragon of Dojima. Uh it also just has like better skills overall. Um You don't have to scale a weapon for it. You kinda got everything you need. Um Like yeah, Action Star has like a gun attack. It's got yeah, things that like taking, bypass like, guard. The, the final skill off this to put it in inheriting it into Dragon of Dojima. Yeah, right? but it's but it's also like that's level 18, that's forever from now. Um yep. Eric, um, I think I think Cabby's too fucking the good. Weapon, out of curiosity. No, he's not he's, he's not he's idea? not dealing any fucking damage. Okay. Like, yeah, I, I suppose if I got a good weapon, it it, it would work. Um, like that, 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 out. That that way, probably right? that probably is a factor. Um, but like, I went and grabbed decent whatever like uh, is the best I can grab for the time being, which is two star stuff. I can go buy three star weapons, and then I could go upgrade them if I wanted to. But I said, fuck it. Um, I mean, Kiryu probably just wants to be a Dragon of Jojima anyway. Uh, it's just, like it's utility. It's it does everything. It's him. Class. It's uh, him. Then I think Pirate Dancer is cool, and it can get good stuff. That sounds pretty fun. Where he's like kind of this like hybrid unit, right? Um, Cabby's the wizard class. <laughs> uh, ca Cabby, Cabby's people, fucking Cabby. ridiculous. So I'm probably gonna put him on Cabby. But Ichiban is the variable class. Is like meant to be the variable guy more than anything. I can kind of put whatever I want on him, and he'll and he'll make do. Yeah. Um. Like I looked at this. This is like his his damage focus class. Hero's pure all rounder. That's why he does no fucking damage. Is because it's 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 all rounder stuff. Right. Um, he's, he's got healing. He's got. This he's class be... is ridiculous. Like right away, this class is fucking absurd. Out the box. Um. And it's only going to get better from the looks of it, so... But which one had...
I guess this is also, this class is also probably pretty good. That's a burn. Burn's really strong. Yeah, so... And Eris was good, too. I think this this is probably fine. It's got debuffs and stuff. But Geodancers seem really strong. Yeah, Geodancers like, ridiculous, actually. Not, not super durable, but... Yeah, so I'm probably going to change Ichiban to... Why not Action Star? Aquanaut actually seemed to be the play. He kind he can kind of just do AOE attacks. He's got a lot of MP. Uh, and he's got a heal out of it. Uh, or I can give him Pirate Answer, which has some fun stuff. Maybe I'll do that. That's linebacker as Desperado. I don't know which one this is. And that's uh Sujimon, Suji Master. I'll switch to those in a second. But yeah, let's uh Oh wait. We got Uh, there's 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 my main team. Oh, I, I need I need reserve members. Okay, now what? Oh fuck, you get money for this. Yep. <laughs> All right. You guys ready for this? Don't let up. Oh my All god. Right, boys. Charge. <laughs> Remember, have fun out there. I know your server is a level one. I believe in you all. It's fine. I have a fucking level ten. Oh, and you've got this. Here comes Punch Zero! Speed is life. Fight! Okay. I believe in you all! Alright, so I just have the one attack. Okay. You're gonna love this. Yeah. Go down. All right, the levels matter quite a bit. Okay, now what? Knuckle sandwich. Yeah. Yeah. Knuckle. I'm gonna break your face. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, uh, you've got this. Need two MP for that. That's a heal. Okay. Here comes a doozy. Yeah. He brought him down. I don't know how to level them. Get ready. Ah. Nicely <laughs> done. Show me what you've got. Game over. Oh. Right, that's free. I can just do that. Well, this guy's fucking dead. Here comes Punch You see that? That's the game. Whoa! I'm so glad we won. 
Come on, guys, gather around. <laughs> Say cheese. <laughs> Whoever directs the um, mini game intros or, or uh, mm -hmm. victory poses and stuff, uh, I'll, I'll do the best job. Mm. This seems to be oh, working oh, out. Oh, oh, oh. I got a, I got a squirm worm. Wow. This, uh, a glance at that EXP screen, and this might Shit. be working off FF10 rules, where everyone has to participate in the battle to get right, experience. I believe it. So, I noticed that uh, one of the best ways to make money in this game is to mm. feed the animals. Feed the animals. Yeah, because uh Aloha. Because they fucking give you silver plates. <laughs> ah. When you max them out. Which is uh quite a lot of money right now. I don't have a ton of money. Okay. Alright, there was a Sujimon battle. Did you all enjoy that? That was actually pretty kinda cool. It was kinda neat. I, I I kinda I didn't hate it. Uh, it was not terrible. I know. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Uh... I guess I can't do anything with them right now. I would have to go to... I would have to go to one of these things. I'm not trying to talk to you. Okay, strength in Sujimon. So if I want to level up this guy. Oh. Alright, 10% chance of huge gains. Ready? Enhance. Let's do this! We can learn from each other. Good, man. Look at that vascularity. Was that huge gains? I don't know. Or was that normal gains? I don't know. He went from level 5 to 8, which is good. 10's max? For now. Okay, but maybe that's why that guy didn't level I'm gonna, up. I'm gonna awaken this guy. Whoa. I can feed this man. Other men? Yes. Let's see what that looks like. Awaken, awaken. Where did you go? Alright, he got a star. Alright. Okay. Can't evolve anyone yet. Gain experience by taking on trainers of your approximate level. Unlock higher level opponents by obtaining badges. All right, I understand the entire system now, and no longer need to participate in it. For I, I, I get it. Can I change my job here? This, this is like a terrible design oversight, by the way. So I can't leave this place right now. I have to physically walk out of here to get the map back. Oh. And I don't know how that happens. Yeah, there's not like a. Wait, um... I can use the segue here, holy shit. All right. We're gonna do some sub stories. The rain or shine, I'll always be ever at your side. Wow. Wow. This song's pretty good. Though I can't help but think of the other underground mall perfectly mirroring this one. Huh. I ended up staying for the rest of the show. Live music sure is great. Man, am I lucky. Not every day can you catch Matt Tropico performing at a place like this. Apparently, this is his release party. I hear he's going on tour soon. Maybe I'll buy some tickets. Huh. 
Three is a big deal after all. That explained the huge crowd. Oh no. Like, like the underground ball's not even like directly below this one. It's in a completely yeah, different right. part of the town. Because it'd be one thing too if it was just like directly underneath Whoa. it, right? Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> Huh? Whoa there! You okay? I'll hold it steady, so set it down for a sec. Yeah, oh, sorry, could you? And there. Oh, sorry again, and, and, and thanks for the help. This was even heavier than I thought it'd be. My shirt. Ah, don't sweat it. Besides, aren't you a famous singer? You got a whole crew working for it's you. It's a normal sub story Just NPC. You get hurt, no. you can't play your uke anymore. And if you can't play, it's game over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you got me there. Uh, yeah, this event was kind of a rush job, so so we don't have much staff working it. I, I just didn't want to make any more trouble for them. But that'd defeat the point if I got injured, so yeah. Ah, you're a real nice guy, aren't you? Like, even though you made it big, none of that fame went to your head. And the fact that you're considerate of your staff? Mad respect. Nah, you're exaggerating. <laughs> Not at all. He's right, you know. Huh? Yeah, you're always trying to help us out even after pouring your heart and soul into your performance. Now that the show's over, it's time for us to step up to the plate. Hey, you ought to take a break. Relax. <sighs> I just feel like there's more I could be doing. But you're right, I, I should step back. And thank you so much for earlier. It'd be great to see you again at another one of my shows. Yeah, for sure. I'll be looking forward to it. Good luck, man. Wow. That was, uh... That was very, very weird. Not, nothing absurd happened. Sure, surely... This is it. Nothing... Weird will happen. Oh my god, I'm never getting these done. I hate these things. Hey. Hmm? I'm rich. Yeah, I have to. I have to run all the way over here. Now that I'm in the open map, I'm allowed to go. Where did he move to? Also, it, it can mirror it, because the Anaconda Shopping Center is right by District 5 here, so it, it could. It could. But it's probably not. Well, we're... Hmm. We don't have the, uh... Because we, we entered the, it right the, like, there. Yeah, I suppose so. it could have. But, uh, where, where was the Crystal, uh... A hotel? The Crystal Aloha Hotel? I don't think it's on the map. It's right here. No, it was right there. So, for the thing is that we got an elevator. Hmm. We were running I guess we did walk through like the factory facilities. Yeah, I guess it could it's be close enough. It. It's all close yeah. enough. Yeah. No, that, that, that's it, yeah. It's close enough. You're right. We should start as many so sub stories as we can this stream. Just start them. <laughs> Just start them, and if we like them, we keep going. That one didn't immediately hook me. Hello. Hold on. There's something in there. Wow. Oh, need that. Hold on. Great. Now I can make the strongest gear in the game. I guess we haven't been over here yet. Not right here, at least. Yeah. Look at them. They're ha oh, look at them. They're having a good time. Hey, hey man. What's up? Get smart with what me. the fuck? You have a flamethrower and you have a gun. All right. So here's why this class is good. Uh, this is a magic spell, and it does a shit zillion damage. Follow my lead. And, and Pierce's magic defense, right? 
Or is that a different one? Well, it, so it lowers magic defense. Right. So that so that's the thing is that you need to pair her with like Tomizawa to just cast spells nonstop. <laughs> yeah, like uh, all, all these moves are alright. In theory, that should deal good damage. They're poisoned. <laughs> I'll pop those guys. Yeah, I'll swap their jobs in a second. But first, a dog. It's Darla. So was that a hiccup? What was that? It was a hiccup, yeah. Nice. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be chilling so much in all these fucking games that I'm I'm never gonna want to chill again. And you won't be able to. I know, because uh, <laughs> I'll be playing them trying to chill too hard. It's hard to chill too hard. <laughs> well, I have to kill this guy. Is that my whole turn? No. Knuckle sandwich. Yeah. Yeah. Knuckle. Game over. Ha. Don't care. Here comes punch. Yeah. Nicely ah. done. Oh, you got this. Get ready, chump. <laughs> yeah, you brought him down. Ice. What are you gonna do? Hunger strike. Great. That one's fire, so in theory. I was wondering if they were going to use the basketball court. There it is. I'm so happy. We can't lose. Why are you down there, Kiryu? Wait, hold on. Nice. Oh shit, photograph spot. We can get this weapon. It. That came out well. Oh my god, it's for a completely different weapon. There's so many pictures they want you to take for so many different things. Hello. Aloha. I feed the chicken again now that I've reset the instance. Yeah. Okay. Right, the chickens give eggs. The dogs give plates. So if I run back over to that dog right now, that's not a dog. Is this the infinite wealth that we've been told about? <laughs> Resetting the instance to feed animals? <laughs> Always has been. What do you want? You want coconut? No. What are you looking at? Oh my God. Okay, I'm up. Here we go. Okay. Care to dance? Be honored. All right. We're gonna steal this man's soul. It's fine. 
Drink slip. And feed it to a dog. Yep, here you go. <laughs> Exchange for a silver plate. Good trade. I'm running straight at the sub story. Don't go crazy this time. Oh, I know how to get the flaming wheels, by the way. Uh-huh. It's, it's from the crazy taxi minigame. Ah, uh, that makes sense. So I can kind of just grab it right now. Oh. No way, these guys... Are these goons gooning? Wait. Uh, you want to say that again? No. Uh, I just meant the director wants to retake the scene. Bullshit! How many I movies are being made? Where are you pointing the camera? <laughs> Risked my life, he says. Never seen someone so afraid of a car. This is a money stunt. I want that dodge to come at the last possible second. Retake it! Oh, buddy, it's really easy for you to sit in the shade with your megaphone, but I'm in danger here. I'm still injured from the last scene. This guy wants some last second dodges, huh? Maybe we should teach him some. Come on, Mr. Director. D Director, sir. Hey, hey. Crap. I'm not even sure what's going on, but that doesn't look good. Minigame. Quick Frogger. <laughs> what is this? What? Jesus Christ! Why is this happening? Oh, because it's gonna be the last of the Oh, 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 or, or, yeah, or, yeah, yeah. The director's just looking at him, going, "Man." Yeah, he's he's perfect. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. yeah. Hey, you two. I don't know what's got you so pissed, but how about we all calm down? Huh? Who are you? Stay out of I'm him. <laughs> I can't just walk away after seeing an old man get threatened with a bat. So just put it down, okay? Oh, you got some hairy balls getting in the middle of this shit. Guess we're going to crack your skull open first. Hey. <laughs> right, time to throw down. Okay, I'm up. They didn't know. Oh, they're level 12. I want to do a regular attack, but you know what? Whatever. I guess I just don't care. Ooh, money. Doing better Need money. We need to go on vacation. How else are we going to have epiphanies? Oh, oh, jeez. That all you got? You all right, old man? Whoa. Oh, old man? It's you. You're just the man this movie needs. Uh? Pursuit of realism. Oh. So you're all working on a movie out here. Uh-huh. Friend, I'm Boney Kashiwa. You must know me. I'm a national hero back in Japan. The acclaimed action director, now gone global. And I'm the director's assistant, Furukawa. Kasuka. What was that argue about, uh, argument about then? Oh crap, that wasn't a scene from the movie, was it? Did I interrupt the shoot? No, not at all. Those um antics with the baseball bat were part of the script. Those were stuntmen. And, well... Huh. Those gutless ret reprobates have no right to call themselves true stunt performers. The director has a somewhat demanding style. Frankly, the hospitalization rate among his stunt workers is notorious. So you see, altercations like that on his set aren't uncommon. <sighs> you mean that's not the first time he's almost been creamed with a baseball bat? 
Afraid not. And this production has been particularly grueling. We don't have a single action scene in the can yet. I've heard some industry folks have started calling him Stunt Killer Kashiwa. That's a pretty grim alias. I heard that, Furukawa. S sorry, sir. All these Namby Pamby stuntmen have done nothing but disappoint me. But you, Kasuka san, you're different. The way you wove through traffic to reach me, the fearlessness in your eyes when you confronted those thugs. I want you for this picture, and I won't take no for an answer. Welcome to Sway the Car 3, Burning Break. What? We're currently trying to nail a scene where the tough guy avoids a litany of explosions all the while dodging oncoming cars. Huh? Dodging cars while explosions are going off? Uh-huh. Eh, yeah, fuck yeah. Dangerous stuff to be sure, but we're making art here. We pull this off, our names will be etched into the great pantheon of cinema forever. Kino, they'll yell, Kino! Or we go with these youngsters, suggest and use <coughs> CGI. Hmm. <laughs> Director, we're bottlenecked here. All I'm saying is that incorporating some digital effects could save us a ton of expenses. Not to mention be a heck of a lot safer. And with the current tech, it looked just as ah. Shut your damn flip-flaps! This is a movie, and that means real cars and real explosions and real people dying, damn it. If I wanted to direct cartoons, I would have gotten kicked out of I wouldn't have gotten I wouldn't have gotten kicked out of art class over my series of provocative self-portraits. Movies need realism. The shake of the cameraman's hands. The instability of the dolly. All of that's lost in your bright, castrated world of computer graphics. Y yes, sir, I understand. We've had this conversation already. I I'm just concerned about our performer's health. Mm. I'm not an ogre, Furukawa. I don't enjoy seeing people get injured, but I refuse to compromise my vision. Therefore, I enjoy seeing people get injured. That's why Kaskas on here is exactly what we need. Someone brave and seemingly indestructible. No fancy computers. Just a flesh and blood hero. So, Kasuga san won't you help me make the greatest action film of all time? If not for me, then the industry standard wages I'll pay you. <sighs> Money. Definitely sounds dangerous though. Should I really go along with this? Yeah. Sure thing. What the hell? It's sure not an offer you get every day. Brilliant. Eh? Seriously? I should warn you though, I don't know Jack about acting. You really sure this will work? That's great work? Don't worry about that. Leave it all to me. We're gonna make history thanks to you. Huh. All right. Let's do it. Good to go. Good to go, Casca san This will be one hell of a shoot. Make sure you're ready. All right. Yeah. I guess so. So, <laughs> what's my motivation here? <laughs> Just dodge cars? Uh huh. Not quite. First, put on this suit. Then you'll be dodging cars. Ha! First, put on these cat ears. Oh, you'll be dodging cars, all right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Suit up and dodge. I can do that, probably. And no hunk hokey stunt work. Make it look real, because the explosives sure as hell will be. For real? The explosives? Right, I guess that makes sense for an action scene. Damn right. Remember, Burning Brake has the entire Sway the Car legacy to live up to. Now, the drivers are going to be relentless, understand? I've told them to do everything they can to hit you, so you'd better not let them do that. <laughs> and speed is key. Too slow, and we'll have to reshoot the whole scene. Reach the final line, reach the finish line, come hell or broke neck bones. Got it. Uh, okay, dodge the cars, avoid the explosions, and get to the end of the street fast. Right. See? It's simple. You ready? Yeah, ready as I'll ever be. All right, get in wardrobe, and we'll start shooting. I think we have to do every sub-story. <laughs> I know I keep saying this as if I'm like, I don't want to. But they have mini-games. While well, performing as a stuntman, vehicles will constantly race in your direction. Use L to avoid them and reach the goal line within the time limit. If you get hit or run out of time, the take will be ruined. Losing three takes will halt the shooting schedule. 
Alter your speed with uh, L pushing back or forward. If the oncoming traffic looks especially deadly, slow down with L. On the other hand, holding forward can help you complete the shot quickly. The trick to great stunt work is to balance speed and coordination. Please note, this being a non-contract gig, you do not qualify for stunt worker union's health insurance. Let's make it happen. Action! Holy shit. Oh, oh, I have like... Oh, I, w I was thinking... Okay, this is going to be a lot harder than I thought. Okay. All right, I'm sitting up. Let's make it happen. I Action. thought we were going to like switch lanes immediately, but no. I I have full fucking freedom of control here. Uh Okay. Let's make it happen. Action. I'm gonna hit. Fuck. Uh, this is hard. <clears throat> Where am I? Hey, you okay, man? You were knocked pretty loopy back there. Ooh. All right. Just taking five right now, waiting for you to regain consciousness. Mr. Okay. Sorry. I'm not sure if this warrants a game over state. Let's I lose health. Serious. Okay. All right, that's fine. It works pretty good. Give me all you got. I'm not. I, I'm. I, there's no way I'm not doing it the hardest way possible. All right, come on, Alex. If you can dodge those fucking birds, you can dodge some shitty fucking real cars. Come on, man. The way you stop time at the end there. Exactly how I imagined the scene. Audiences are going to flip their damn lids. <gasps> He's incredible. His grace, his panic, his sense of verisimilitude. I'm shaking. You made that up. Damn good work, Kasuga-san. I'm beside myself. <laughs> Is that so? I could kind of they put him in the suit he wore to the fucking funeral. This guy, that confidence. Guess you realize just how brilliant your performance was in the moment, huh? <laughs> Not even close. Only knew once I saw that smile on your face. That grin of yours tells me we nailed it. Am I right? Hmm. Suppose so. Didn't even realize I was smiling. Listen, Kasuga-san. I know I seem like some old fogey when it comes to that CGI stuff. Truth is, I know the tech is good. <laughs> we used to make intricate little models, then blow each <clears throat> one up. Mm. Nowadays, you can do it all in a computer. Why doesn't this song play more often? I still believe there's beauty in filming exactly what you place in front of the 
camera. I mourn the loss of the real in a world whose soul is slowly vanishing in the name of convenience. Sway the Card 3 was meant to be a love letter to the old ways, but I became an albatross around its neck. Most of all to the stunt performers. I've been far too cruel to them. Director? I was planning to retire after this one, actually. Comes a point we all have to know what our time is up. I saw you perform, and you make me want to keep going. <laughs> it's never too late, trust me. And hey, let me ask them how much of an albatross you are. I think they heard you. Wonder what they've got to say. Huh? Oh, Director! Kasuga-san! Please say you forgive us. We never should have said that crap about filming in front of a green screen. We were cowards, just like you said we were. <laughs> I could I could feel the wind whip past as the cars came rushing forward, and Kasuga dodged them at the very last second. Not to mention the heat from the blast shells. I'd almost forgotten how heroic it can feel when they go off. Honestly, I'm mad at myself. It could have been me in that shot, and I gave up the chance at a career-defining stunt. <laughs> I think we've all rediscovered something today. We've wrapped this scene, but there's still plenty more to go before we have a movie, fellas. You in? What do you say? Shit, yeah. We're in, Director. <laughs> Not bad, guys. Kasuga-san! Your stunt work is phenomenal. Needless to say, it's really got everyone fired up again. Here, take this. I've added a bit more since you refused to cut any corners and got us a better shot than we'd hoped for. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Kaiser's change holder. Exclusive equipment for cabbies. Happy to be a film. Oh, reflex I booster. appreciate it. I'll be looking forward to seeing the movie. Good luck out there. Thanks. So, director, what's the next action scene? We ready to shoot? The next shot calls for our three cornered heisters to jump for freedom from that. I was gonna say jump off a there. building with nothing. For the sake of realism, I say we skip the safety harnesses. Huh? <laughs> now that sounds hardcore. I'm in. Let's go. Let's give this one our best, Kasuga. Huh? <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> our best? Ugh, something wrong. Of course you're in too. We've got lots more action scenes to go, Kasuga-san. <laughs> we need you. Now everybody, pack, and we'll set up on the high-rise roof. Wait, 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 hold on. What? So we can jump off with no harness? Don't worry. We'll have pillows and blankets on the ground where you land. Oh, oh, how nice. So I'll be real comfy for the permanent nap I'll be taking. Don't be a coward. It won't look real if you're not actually leaping. If you're not actually roof. dead. Please. I just forget it. Just you CGI, you maniac. What did you say, Kasugazan? <laughs> nice. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, by the way, uh, verisimilitude uh, means the appearance of being true <laughs> or real. Okay. Oh, Ooh, dog, you know what that means. What's Iggy? Thing was taunting me the entire time. Shit ass soda water I didn't even need. Uh, actually, let me fight these guys so I can reset I'll the dog. Show me what you got. Level are you guys? Okay. I'm okay. Fine. Uh, oh, it's guarding. I won't 
<laughs> let's go, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, now we got follow-up attacks. Nice. That's how you do. Win that nope. I think there was a king over there. No, there's a guy that's too high level, and then there's the guys who are not too high level. That's a platinum trainer. Fuck. He's gold. Okay. What? The golden yeah. statesman. Yeah. That's 300 fucking damage. And now he takes more magic damage. Yo, let's do that thing. Right on. Watch where you're looking. You might get hurt. Uh, the tag team attack did less than what she just did. Oh, we got flying monkey strike though. Come on. All right. Nothing personal. <laughs> All right, that was pretty good. That was that was pretty fucking good. Uh. Yeah, Brawler Ichiban does pretty good damage. Levitation dance. <laughs> okay. Sure, I'll play with you. Okay, I'm up. You're in it, dog. Look down. Prepare yourself. <laughs> it's damage. Uh. And then here, here's uh, here's my AOE blind that also does magic damage. Not bad. Not great. Um. Well, let's go. Not where I wanted you to go, but that's okay. Uh, Something wrong. Resist, whatever. I won't hold that. Well, I'm waiting. Ready for the knockout. Yeah, I, I guess these moves actually do have um Actually here actually does have pretty good uh scaling. Ooh, gold plate. Think I'm getting stronger. Who knew I had it in me? Think I'm getting better. The mask at this. of fertility. All right. Hello. Hey. Got some junk. Here, have some stinky <laughs> towels. Interesting. There's an aloe happy Let's get some uh, room right there to change gear in. Should I open But it's it? not accessible, right? Sweet. Not currently, no. Cats give. I don't think I've maxed a cat out. What you got for me, Tapio? Oh, that makes sense. It's 
Let's go eat. And then hmm, I wish I wish it would tell me what the sub the sub story's name was. Well, we can go finish our guy over here who uh couldn't get into his hotel or was looking for his hotel. I need to slow down now. Your problem. Aloha. Me vodka. Vodka Sakuski. That mean? What's Zakuski? Uh, let's find out. What do you eat? What do you eat with vodka? What do you eat with vodka? Yeah, more vodka. I mean, it, it, the theory could go with most things, uh, because it's just kind of a uh... right. But I, but I need two specific items for the for the vodka. Uh, Zakushki. Uh, substantial Russian vertiver items such as caviar sandwiches or vegetables with sour cream, all served with vodka. Okay, so we want lumpfish caviar then. Yes. And pickles, maybe. <laughs> yeah, it said vegetables. Um, yeah, dill. Uh... Let's oh. dig it. Yep. <laughs> Always hated pickles as a kid. Look, look at me now, chilling in Hawaii, snacking on pickles and vodka. Life really passes you by. Yeah. Soon enough, you'll be in an old folks' home. That's not my point here. It's just <laughs> an emotional experience. Okay. Not sure how pickles make a guy emotional, but I think I get it. I've got really good Your pickles in my fridge right now. In our foreign country, must be like something out of a movie. Yeah, exactly. If I could send a message to Kid Costco like, "Yo, I'm drinking at a bar in Hawaii," I doubt he'd believe it. And yet here I am doing just that with a good buddy to boot. His life's full of surprises too. Good buddy. Yeah. Life is full of surprises. Never would have guessed I'd wind up at some bar with the middle-aged ex-Yakuza for company. That I mugged. Lay off with that shit, man. Stuck what up. I'm trying Whatever. to say is, anything can happen. Hell, we might end up going to space together one day. Yo. Uh -oh. <laughs> it could happen. Not long ago, my life was in total darkness. All I could do was stumble around like an idiot. But after meeting you... I feel I can finally take a few steps forward. Yay. You're a cool ass guy, each fine. Yeah? <laughs> then I hope we stay buds for a long ass time. Now, where's your glass? Ha <laughs> ha! Cheers! Yakuza in space. Go. Yeah. That was my plate. Had a good one. Yeah, so I can generally know how far in the game I am by actually checking Kiryu's bond, because there's nothing I can do to actually increase it. That's true. Uh, which is interesting. Uh, let's hit up... I guess we've never walked around there. Yeah. Get, get some of those conversations. I always go the wrong way. It's always facing me where I want to go, and then I think it's not. Yeah. First, dudes who need to die. Let's see what you got. Let's do it. Can you smell? Nobody responds. But nobody answers. Honestly. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, there's a bunch of dudes. Uh, okay. Well, here I come. Behold, Pretty good. Follow my lead. Do I have a? 
It's a single target, but it has knockback. That's a line attack. So like nothing personal. Not what I was hoping for. Will this guy actually hit me? Okay, I'm up. I don't think I have an AoE here. I won't take that. Hey, you good? All right. Take this fist and show it. There we go. Open one. Break yourself. Ah, my eyes. Come on, bitches. What's the hold up? Needed that. Palakiko summon Palake. That was weird. One with Mother Nature. Learning more every day. Yes, I'm a fast learner. Yeah, I want to get the. I want to get the. Kunoichi uh, class. Mm -hmm. That was the guy I'm not friends with. Hey, there's Alex. Close enough. Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. Teru Teru Tomi. Usually, there's a huge music festival held here every year. But recently, they keep getting canceled due to storms. Oh, what a bummer. Would you call yourself a music lover, Tommy? I mean, who doesn't like music? Mostly, I'm a fan of that festival atmosphere. Loud songs what? play nonstop There's... while you get down with your favorite drink. That's fun, because it feels so free. Man, I can't wait to go again. The Coke pot. Case, we'll just have to beat the rain with the power of some Teru Teru Bozu. Teru Teru to do what now? It's like a voodoo doll, but for weather. It's the secret weapon to controlling the skies. Oh, we're making voodoo dolls and weapons now. Hi. All right. Yes, we are. I feel like I've gotten to know them well. Hey, Ichiban. Do you use coconut oil? I have. I wouldn't know where to start. <laughs> oh, well, that shop over there has the best stuff. Makes your skin what? silky smooth. You should give it a try while you're still here. It's like magic. Not sure an old guy like me needs to worry about silky smooth uh, skin at this point. No way. Taking care of yourself is always important. A well-kept man is attractive. No kid. What? Hmm. Guess having softer skin would be nice. Yep. Better than going soft in the head. We're really opening up. We've managed not to get a single bingo. Anything back here? You there. Dudes. One six fifty ER. Ready to rumble. Okay, I'm up. I'll take you on. Prepare yourself. That's a shit ton of damage too. Oh, he's got a level eight. I won't hold that. Cool. 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 Up. This is it. That came out well. Okay, cool. Yeah. 
I'm not real. God damn, man. I. Okay, I'm up. Anyone know if there's a mod that gets rid of the 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 uh, extreme aggro of enemies? It, like it's so it's so fucking like I should be allowed to run away from things. Damn it! All right, drop kick. It's not gonna land, but we're gonna try it. Did I pick the wrong move? What happened there? I guess I picked the wrong move. Yeah, they should have to like run up to me or something rather than just looking at me and then it triggers it. We're in full swing. Look at this place. Aloha. That seems good. I don't need that many. Thank you. Isn't my surface super cute? I love how girly and flashy it is. Oh, you do have one. Let me show you the cute. Great. Great. Thanks. The game is just non-stop release. I, c I hit X, I receive happiness. I could take you. Oh, wait. Don't make a fool of me. Okay. Maybe he might be. Oh. Give me a hand. King of the bling. What do you do? What's the hold up? Okay. I'm up. He called in dudes. All right. Prepare yourself. Let's go. Let's go. I want to save up money for now. I don't think I should summon anyone unless I really, really need them. Whoa. There's some damage. Yeah, that's damage. Well, I'm not stunned, thankfully. Just the one, really? That's great. I think this move ends up having some pretty good damage. Yeah. Alright. How dare you. No very Richie Richie crown. Doing better than I thought. Who knew I had it in me? 
Damn, the Sujimon didn't stay behind. How sad. Oh, I should buy some local honey. Honey is a pretty popular souvenir from Hawaii, if you didn't know. Oh, is it really all that different from the stuff you can get in Japan? Yeah, the flavor really varies depending on which flower the bees collect nectar from. For instance, macadamia honey has a slight bitterness to it. <laughs> it's delish. Huh, who'd have guessed? It's not a I always thought shaking. macadamias were only good for dousing in chocolate. Somehow I knew you'd say that. All right. But Damn, we're so close now. That's all I know, too. It's not a show, shithead. You yeah, it is. Ready to rumble. Okay, I'm up. Here we go. Right on. Care to dance? Be honored. <laughs> Ready as I'll ever be. Here I come. Follow my lead. Let's go. Well, well, was nothing to hurt. Let's get it done. Open one. This misses. Nope. I'm just not feeling it. This sucks. Oh damn it, there's no way. Ah damn it, there's no way. Sorry to drag my feet. I need him. I guess. What? Is he still want more? Always give the good gift. There you go. Token of friendship. How about it? What's this all about? Let me think about it. I get. Okay. Nice. Okay. I got ten. I got ten Sujimon. He's pretty good. Fast. Cool. I guess. Whatever. <laughs> I should save up my keys. Like, let me interact with this so I know it's here. Should I open it? And then not open it so I can get the gold. The gold boxes that should be worth more. Okay. Now we're making some money. Like, like, these dudes should not aggro at all. They should be running away from me. Like, like, like what the fuck is this? Just because they're level, level 10. <laughs> yeah, no, they, they should be like, oh, sorry, sorry. What's the American staple, you think? Cheeseburger, Coke, Coke potato yeah. wedges. Let's oh. see. Yeah, that was my plate. Really? Might give it really? to me afterwards. Very much. Uh, as an American? Uh, as an American, uh, I think that was the American staple. Uh, Did I pick the wrong burger? Yeah, or like, or are they going with it's beer, not coke? Yeah. It's like, that's not right. No. no. <laughs> Americans be drinking Coca Cola. Oh, hey, Akaska san. You doing okay, dude? Okay. What's up, Sawai? You make it to your hotel all right? Yes. I did. That girl led me all the way there. Truth be told, I've been wanting to thank you. What for? I didn't really do anything. No. I beg to differ. You were kind enough to ask for my help, uh, ask to help for me, my, kind enough to ask for help in my stead, even though we had just met. You gave me hope, and without your intervention, I wouldn't have met the girl of my dreams. Hmm? What? 
A anyway, please let me thank you for the meal. I saw this nice looking restaurant while I was looking for my hotel. So how about it? We're gonna have the American staple. You sure, dude? Well, if you insist. You ready to go eat Kasuga san? Okay. Yeah, sure. I right, this is gonna end in horrible cringe, so let's do it. He said, girl of his dreams, it's time for nightmares. Uh-oh. Over here, Kasuga san No. No, I didn't mean it. I didn't... Oh, no. Hey, careful, you you don't trip at that speed. <laughs> I'm not some little kid. Ah, uh, whoa, I'm so sorry, sir. Hey, buddy, you speak Japanese? I saw you earlier, you know. You were crossing the road without using the crosswalk, weren't you? Yeah, walking's illegal in these parts, see? Why, I had to find you. Huh? Huh? Is it really? I'm so sorry, sir. I didn't know that. Ooh. Well, since you didn't do it on purpose, and you're beating yourself up over it, I'll let you off the hook this time. In exchange, how about donating some money to the police department? Oh my god. I just have to make a donation? Alright, sure. Hold on a sec, so why? Did you actually jaywalk earlier? Hmm. Honestly, I don't even remember. I wasn't looking at my feet. It's fine, though. The officer said he'll let me off with a donation. Better we get to the restaurant than get in trouble. It's crazy how laws work in America, you know? <laughs> yeah. Well, then you better be more careful next time. <sighs> but a donation instead of a fine? Is that normal in Hawaii? Oof. That could have been a lot worse. I guess Hawaii is way stricter on traffic laws than Japan. I better watch my step. <laughs> oh, hello. Are you visiting from Japan? That's nice. Here, here's a t-shirt. Huh? Um, for me? Who else, dearie? Now that'll be $50. <laughs> no. I, uh... I don't really need a shirt, though. Well, this isn't any old shirt. All profits go towards the poor in third world countries. Since you already took it, won't you cooperate? These funds may even save lives, you know? Do you follow, dearie? Hey, doesn't this seem kind of fishy? Ichiban, enough with the <laughs> bullshit. Activate November rain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's get on with this. November rain. <laughs> Fill them with holes. <laughs> Oh, you're doing charity work. I understand completely. Sure, I'll donate to your cause. They, they really are JoJo stand fights, but if they're not fighting yeah. and other bizarre shit that doesn't make sense is happening. <laughs> Thank you kindly. See you around, Whoa. sucker. Dude, you sure about that? Seemed a little sketch to me. I mean, she pretty much forced that thing on you. You think so? Maybe there's there are just more pushy people outside of Japan. Uh... A parrot? It's a it, It's the biggest fucking macaw you'll ever see. It's pretty big. It's beautiful. Oh my! I see you quite like that man's shoulder, eh, Perry? Very like. Very like. Perry want a picture? What? What the hell? That's one big ass parrot. Aloha, brother from another mother country. Why? Just look how sweet my cute little Perry is. Fate must have brought us together. How about a picture? Picture, yes. Picture, yes. Uh, sure, I guess. Very hungry. Food, food. Oh dear. Did you get hungry after working yourself into a tizzy? Excuse me, brother. I know it's not a real fair trade for the picture, but do you mind spotting me? I'll defeat my darling Perry here. One hundred dollars! One hundred dollars! Huh? What? Really? That's expensive! Hey, come on. It's not his fault the bird landed on him. You're going too far, man. 
No, no, it's fine. Think of it as a commemorative gift. Here you are. You're a stand-up fella, you know that? Really appreciate it, man. Have a nice trip. I hope this is all just coincidence. <laughs> Have a nice trip, sucker. Yo. Hey, I don't know if that last one was legit. I can't tell you how to spend your money, but shouldn't you be more careful? Well, maybe I really was hungry. Besides, this is all part of the Hawaiian experience. Come on, we're almost there. <sighs> is this guy gonna be okay? We're back here. How do we tell him we just ate here? Here we are. A lot happened before we got here, but let's just get in. Gullible Japanese tourists. Gullible Japanese tourists. They're going to be working together. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even get that far away. What the fuck? They're usually loaded too. This is mad fun. Okay. Go land on that old man next. Hmm. <laughs> I better teach the bird to be evil. Man, that was tasty. What I, I, I wish I remembered what I just ate so I could tell Alex what the American staple was. I feel bad for letting you foot the bill, though. Oh, please don't. You saved my life, Koska-san. When I was too scared to reach out for help, you stepped in and brightened my whole day. I was so anxious being in a different country all alone. And if it weren't for you, I would have never met my special someone. Mm. A special someone, you say? Yeah, someone so special. They're about to change my entire life for the low, low cost of all of my money. Wait a minute. The lay girl? Yes. That's right. I'm surprised you figured it out. Well, honestly, nobody else fit the bill. Oh, I think I might have fallen for her at first sight. Ever since the moment we, we met, she's got me all flustered. Man, I wish I could see her again. She gave me a free lay. Took me to my hotel out of the kindness of her heart. She was a really sweet girl. Dude, I think that's only because you donated a ton of money, but yeah, she was pretty cute. To tell you the truth, I quit my job recently. The reason I'm here in Hawaii is to get away from it all. Huh? That's so? Yes. Yeah, I was an ordinary businessman. I spent my days doing the best I could, even going door to door pitching sales just to fill my quota. But one day, I was assigned a rather difficult customer. I said the wrong thing, and then they ended up complaining about me. It might have been a minor issue, but that mistake of mine cost us a major deal at the end of the day. Oh man. And because of that, my work relationships became strained. Even my own boss verbally abused me every single day. Since then, I've been too afraid to speak with other people. Oh, I guess that's why he couldn't ask for directions even though he had no idea where his hotel was. Eventually, they kicked me from the sales department. My only job was to keep an eye on the shredder. Since nobody needed me there anymore, I up and left the company. I was just so tired. So I came to Hawaii for a fresh start. But my past mistakes still haunt me to this day. Which makes it difficult to ask people for help, even when I really need it. That's why I was so happy when you first spoke to me, Kaskasan. And that girl was kind to me too. For a moment, I felt needed, even if only for a donation. Uh. Felt like my chilled heart was slowly being warmed by a tiny bit of sunlight. Now I'm not afraid to talk to strangers. Not anymore. I can finally move forward without turning tail and running away. And you're the one who gave me this opportunity to change myself. I really do mean it when I say you saved my life, Kaskasan. <laughs> <laughs> you're giving me way too much credit, man. But hey. 
great you're thinking more positively now. Glad I talked to you earlier then. Oh, I want to thank that girl properly too. Honestly, I wish I could just chat with her again. Okay. Well, now that you're looking more optimistic, maybe you will. I hope you see her again. <laughs> yeah, maybe so. I wonder what she's doing now. Kaskasan, I'll be heading back to the hotel now. I hope we get to meet again. Okay. Yeah, see you around. Thanks for the meal, man. I wonder if I'll see her if I visit again. Me, my Suji Munch. This poor guy. We have to cleanse him. Oh my god. Oh my god. Poof. Oh no. Oh hey. Isn't that Sawai? Yes, and he met that girl again. He's wearing the fucking shirt. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's throwing more money at her. You'd think that he'd notice something was off by now. Oh, him again? I see him pretty often. The other day, he was here buying a CD. Flag, postcards, you name it. Fool was getting suckered in every way imaginable. Maybe these tourists aren't all that quick on the uptake since Japan's so damn peaceful. Seriously, how many times has he been scammed by that girl? Sup? Hey, sorry to butt in, but I gotta ask. That girl with the lays. She's actually been scamming folks? Huh? Huh? Oh, yeah. Definitely. They'll tell you, welcome to Hawaii, and then put a lay on you even if you don't want one. The moment you take it, they'll ask you to donate. It's a popular scheme around here. What's the story? Heh. <laughs> Did she get you too? Yeah, something like that. She asked for a donation to support her hula dance group. Ha! <laughs> That's a classic. Truth is, she goes walking around from dawn to dusk looking for Japanese folks with pockets full of money. She's never hula danced a day in her life. It's only ever the guys dancing to her tune. I know I shouldn't laugh, but honestly, this shit's hilarious. That's right. That guy's something else. See that t-shirt he's wearing? Got it from one sly old lady. He's practically, he practically screams, Japanese tourist, easy mark. Might as well walk around with a target on his back. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if you already forked over your money, just think of it as paying to get schooled in one hard lesson to learn. Just steer clear of picture taking parrots, all right? Okay. Uh. Hey, Sawai. I see you got to meet the girl with the lays again. Oh, Kaskasan. Yes, indeed. I ran into her again when I was hanging out here. She was. She has such a cute name too, Kiana. She told me after I donated a few times. <sighs> Donations. Right. About that. <sighs> Sawai actually fell head over heels for her, but she's probably thinking he's an easy mark. Would it be best to tell him the truth? But it seems too cruel to do that to someone who's so happy. Is everything all right? We hide nothing. Yeah, you got it, yeah. You must know the horrors of, of reality. So I wake hey. up, buddy. Well, uh, about those donations Kiana's asking for. I heard some locals saying that she's running a scam. I mean, I don't know for sure, but... Um... 
You really are a nice guy, Casca Song, San. But the thing is, I'm already well aware of that. Hmm? Huh? Of course I noticed that she wasn't a student, and that she was lying about the donations. Then why are you still giving her money? <laughs> because I want to see her. I only get to spend time with Kiana when I uh, come visit for... I have trouble reading this guy's dialogue in particular, and I don't know why. I only get to spend time with Kiana when I come visit for another one of her lay. I don't care if I'm just an another easy mark for her. Is that why you keep wearing that shirt too? Yes. <laughs> right. I figured that this way she'd recognize me. I look like another wide-eyed Japanese tourist, don't I? <sighs> you were ha So you were handing out money left and right on purpose? Well... She might have been lying about her cause, but I didn't mind giving her money if it made her happy. I'm sure there's a reason she's doing all this. Maybe she's trying to look after her family. Who knows? So my donations aren't meant to support her hula dance group, but to support her. <laughs> Thank you for your concern, but I really am doing just fine. Until next time. No, well, he's okay with it then. I guess it's fine. Huh. Better call my goons. Better call my goons. <laughs> Drive safely. The the goon and the gooners. Alright, story time. Nice. Ah. Uh. Kasuga, you made it. Thanks for coming. Sure. Were you guys praying just now? That's right. We were sending our thoughts toward Nele Island. Nele Island? Is there a warship under it? Uh, it's sacred land to us in Palekana. One of the small islands out there bears the name of our goddess. Legend has it. That's where Madame Nele rests her head. Ah, so is it like... Some kind of sanctuary? It's yours? where the plans for the secret That's inside right. job of Pearl Harbor was. Since the Hawaiian dynasties, and even today, it retains its spiritual purpose. When I think of the ideal life, I think of being one with nature, nestled in the island's untouched bounty. The ideal life? I guess everyone's got a different idea of luxury. Yeah, you think? However... Only our sage is pure enough to set foot on the island. Yeah? Along with a select few who have demonstrated their virtue. Of course, I've never set foot on the island myself. Or even seen it with my own eyes. Maybe if I became a Haku, that would change. A Haku? Haku is a title or a role given only to those with great merit and extreme devotion. They alone can live on Nele Island, and only the sage decides who's worthy. Man, I can't wait to see how all this shit oh, with all the gets work twisted you do, around. I'm you're not one already. <laughs> That's very kind of you to say, but my faith is far from pure. Even my wish to become Haku is tainted with selfish desire. Huh. So off the coast of Hawaii, there's a paradise waiting within paradise. You think Akane-san was trying to be a Haku? I sincerely doubt it. Unlike me, she never showed concern for herself. She never sought recognition. Yeah, an island with wars. another Hawaii None comes out from it. Yeah. <laughs> what? Oh, well, this one time I asked her directly. It's going to be Pearl Harbor captured in time. So kind and dedicated it's frozen in place. <laughs> what she told me. I'll we never can never let anyone know the greatest kept secret in the world. Of atonement. 
Atonement? For what, I wonder? Cutting out that Arakawa guy? Guess we'll only find that out in person, right? Yeah. Anyway, shall we get started on our activity? <sighs> I'd say that looks pretty clean. <sighs> Man. Uh, Kane san sees this every night, huh? Drop kick him. <laughs> you done spacing out over here? Don't just sneak up on me. So, you find any clues? Huh? Oh, no. You? Mm, nope. All I found was the virtue of cleaning up trash. At this rate, we'll work our way up to Haku before we ever see Akane-san. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wouldn't that be something? <laughs> hey, Ichiban. Huh? When you do meet Akane-san, say you do find out she really is your mother and all that. What then? Uh, I haven't thought that far ahead. I doubt we're gonna cry our eyes out or anything. For now, I'll hand this over. And keep the rest short and sweet. I see. I envy you, you know. Huh? Why's that? I told you about my home life, right? About my family? In my eyes, all that stuff about family togetherness that's bullshit people always say your family is your foundation in life but to me they're a curse I can't get rid of but you I want what you have to live free <sighs> sorry didn't mean to dump my personal problems on you or anything I was gonna be like, who, you know, who's this bitch? You could always run. Uh, what? Just pack up and go. I'll even help. Trust me, I once pulled off a night flight when I was in the Yakuza. Oh, please. I thought you could tell I was being serious. And I'm being serious too. When you say, I want to live free, I say, let's make it happen. No matter how big or how bad the Fujinomias are, then there has to be a place they can't reach. And that's where I'll take you. Remember, you saved my life. I figure it's the least I can do. Um, uh, uh, Ichiban? Yeah? Not to be rude, but it sounded like you wanted to elope with me just now. Huh? That wasn't what I said at all! <laughs> no, but dude, it's how you said it. <laughs> oh, F me. Oh, I should just keep my feelings <laughs> on inside. First I proposed to Sachan like an idiot, and now Chi-chan gets the wrong message. Oh, damn it. Hey, you can stop with the pity party, oh, okay? <laughs> Oh, sorry about that. Just falling apart at the seams. You know how it is. I really didn't mean to scare you off there. I'm not always the best talker, for sure. Even so, I want you to know I'm here for you. Please don't get the wrong idea about that. I'd love for us to stay friends, you know? Okay. <laughs> She's like, damn! <laughs> <laughs> Shit! Clueless can he get? Yeah. Ichiban, she has daddy so issues. What don't you understand? Thanks a ton. Today's cleanup was a cinch with you on board. Uh, hey, happy to help. And nothing like a nice, clean beach, right? Ichiban. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> There's Hermit Crab. The beginning of that scene had FF10 tone.
the, the beginning of the song, and I just, I just started leaning back in my chair and letting it soak in. Well, at this point, we know next to nothing. Any tiny detail could be of help. For instance, I was thinking maybe a Kanesan could have slipped onto a boat during one of these trash pickups. But then I realized the water's too shallow. Plus, there's nothing here to give you any cup. So, at least we can rule out the idea that she sailed out to sea somewhere. Wow, what a detailed thought you had. You must be a certified genius. You don't Damn. have to be I was nasty, genius. You know. <laughs> Let's hear what you found then. Not much. I went around looking for found things love. dropped. But of course that went nowhere. Same with me. I asked around, but didn't get anything useful. Kalan, what was that other thing Akane-san used to do? She'd patrol the town every evening. Even though Hawaii is one of the safer states, it still sees its fair share of crime. What we do is check out any tourists who've been drinking or guys just hanging around. Make sure everyone's safe. Kanisan did that too? She really did, just about everything. Okay, then we know what we gotta do. We'll patrol the night away. Ho ho ho! Do I sense some enthusiasm? What? This is how I always am? Hmm. We'll step in for Akanisan this round. What routes do you guys usually take? Tonight, we'll be going around the Aloha Bridge and the art walls. We'll be starting by Aloha Bridge, so you'll want to head over that way. Guy named Romero is going to be in charge. Talk to him when you want to get started. I still have some cleanup left to do, so I'll join you by the time you're at the art walls. Got it. And we'll go see Romero. All right. 100 new side quests. Oh, well, we can go finish off that. Hey, a hermit crab. Whoa. What a good deal. You can go home whenever you want. Is it really going home? More like lugging your whole house around. Huh. And a big shell? Must be like a four-bedroom estate. Man, you need some backbone to walk around with a four-bedroom. Yeah, but imagine what it says about your crab status. Any guy with a four-bedroom shell must be pretty popular. Sorry, what exactly is a four-bedroom shell? Uh, forget it. This crab's a reminder to work hard and save up. In this economy, that shell's probably a rental, if anything. <laughs> oh, that's true. <laughs> or maybe he inherited his shell from his rich parents. That's close. Marine biologists don't think this deeply about crabs. Fine, then. I like how Kiryu was the one to excitedly point out the hermit crab. <laughs> I would too. I mean, hermit crabs are cool. It's neat. They all get in a line when they get too big and exchange shells. They get in, a, in like a size. The yeah. smallest to the biggest, and the big one gets out. And uh, then the next biggest one gets out of their shell and gets into the biggest one's shell. Mm -hmm. It's funny too, because like some of them will cut in line. And uh, thus killing the other crabs. And that's kind of kind of kind of, kind of killing the other crabs because they'll move up two shells or something no. and like force one to get a smaller shell. I don't know anything. Sad stuff. Yeah. That sad stuff. This is what happens when you cut in line, by the way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you you kill the person behind you. Real tragic. Uh, yeah. Don't go crazy this time. You wanna work? Has to be the end, right? Isn't that the girl Sawai likes? Kiana, right? Is she out here scamming here more folks into donating? Oh crap, it's raining. Oh, Kiana, there you are. Hmm? Huh? I thought you'd be around here again, but I got worried since uh, it just started pouring. Mr. Sawai. Please take this, if you'd like. I was using it earlier. Are you sure? But then you'd be soaking wet, Mr. Sawai. <laughs> ah, don't worry about me. I just worked up a good sweat. Figured a little rain shower would do wonders. <laughs> 
Oh, are you taking donations again? I'm sorry, I don't have a lot on me right now. I don't need it. Huh? What was that? No. Uh... I meant to say that I don't need any more donations today. I met some generous donors today, so this umbrella is plenty, Mr. Sawai. Thank you so much. Oh, really? Okay, then I'll come back another time. Uh. Try not to catch a cold, all right? I'll see you around. You're unbelievable. Hmm. All right. What else we got? Let's get going. They all have to have uh, pink street surfers now. They gotta go somewhere crazy for the next game. Yeah, Tampa, Florida. <laughs> uh, I, they have the assets. <sighs> Nothing like the smell of fresh coffee. Oh, didn't know you were a coffee drinker, Cheese Josh. Oh, heck yeah. I'm happy just staring at it. Okay. You know how some cafes use those drip machines? They're pretty enchanting to watch. And different cafes have different ones. Coffee watching. A hobby for everyone. Maybe I should be more observant next time I grab a cup. <laughs> Just don't mad dog the barista or they might spill. We're really opening up. I was watching coffee brewing. Oh no, my stick's veering into this corner. What's up, Ichiban? That's unfortunate. Oh. Huh? Oh, it's this guy! So. Yeah! You want me to beat this guy down? Sure. Whatever. As long as I get to fight. You were with those punks back in Yokohama. Trying to get a rise out of me on camera. What was your name again? Asakura. The primetime MMA maestro. You telling me you've never seen my channel? <gasps> I'm practically always trending. A man named Asakura. Oh, that does ring a bell. Asakura. I remember now. So, why's a busy guy like you out in Hawaii? Beaten ass. On vacation? As if. No, I came out here for you. How'd you know? Me? How'd you know? Okay. How'd you know? Four. <laughs> remember what we said? How'd you know? Well, next time's the real deal. Except there wasn't a next time after you vanished. And let me tell you, tracking you down's been a pain in the ass. But you did? Hold on. How? You flew halfway across the ocean for a rematch? Ding, ding, ding. Ever since we threw down that day, I've been itching for another round. I want to go all out. No distractions, no holding back, no holds barred. It'll drive my viewers wild for sure. That reason enough for you. Now are you gonna face me or what? You're persistent. Gotta give you credit for that. I'm guessing you won't take no for an answer. Of course not. Now shut up and fight me, Ichiban. Okay. Now show me what you got. Let's do it. Cool. Oh, buddy. Is that really all you got? Our num your numbers are flipped. <laughs> oh. Buddy. Oh, did you take damage? <laughs> I'm fucking lapping him in speed. Oh, no. Ah. <sighs> 
course you'd be tougher than last time. There. You satisfied now? <sighs> satisfied my ass. What's up? Asakura, when we first fought, I noticed something. Those other punks you were with. They were nowhere near your level, man. Unlike them, you actually know how to put up a fight. Yeah. <clears throat> I guess I do. If you know that already, then why keep wasting your time? What? Wasting my time? Yeah, going around picking fights for the camera. Is that all you want out of life? Or do you think hitting random people makes you strong? There's a lot more to that. Uh, a lot more to it than that. Well, yeah, but... Maybe you haven't noticed, but... It's what you protect that makes you strong. Whether it's your dream or the people around you. As for you, sure, you throw a mean punch. But if the only thing moving your fists is anger, you'll stay right where you are. <sighs> Silence comment section. Hey. So I'll ask you again. You satisfied where you're at, Asakura? Nah. Not really. Actually, I've been feeling pretty stuck. <laughs> like, last time I even put effort into a fight was... I don't know. After getting beat by you twice, I gotta say, I'm pretty pissed. But at the same time, I'm pumped. You are, huh? Yeah. All I want to do now is get stronger, focus on my training, and hit you up for a v for a rematch. <laughs> <laughs> you better stick with it, then. Even a punk with dedication is gonna have a hard time taking me down. I can see that. It's why I'm going back to the essentials. No more bullshitting around or wasting my time, like you said. Starting today, the week Asakura you knew is no more. When you see me again, I'll be doing things legit. That way I can take pride in what I do. Oh. That right. Uh huh. Give me another round and I'll show you how serious I am. Maybe I just have been a punk this whole time. But I'll come back as the MMA maestro I, wa I said I was. And give you a match worth fighting. Good. Then it's a deal. I'm sure we can both learn a thing or two from that match. Until then, don't let up. See ya. Ha. No doubt. Ichiban Kaska. Asakura the MMA maestro, huh? I still got a way to go, but already he's a force to be reckoned with. Fighting him could be good for both of us. Better not underestimate him, though. He seems dead set on beating me. Did we just, uh, did we just employ... When Merciless Melee. We learned a skill? Yo. Damages an enemy with a chance of reducing their attack or defense. Power heavy. All right. Seems good. Kid. Fortune's tempting. Hey. Are you Romero? Yeah. I take it you're Casca? Callan told me all about you. He said you were helping with patrol. That's the plan. Anything specific you'd like us to do? Well, we've got a pretty big area to cover, so we should split up into groups. How about you and your team patrol along the river, and we'll take care of the other spots. Sure. Along the river sounds good. Anything we need to watch out for? Hmm. You should probably know about the labyrinth. The labyrinth? Wait, like a dungeon? It's a building that was never finished. Plans fell through during construction, and it's been abandoned ever since. Well, I say abandoned, but actually a bunch of crazy people started living there. Sometimes you even hear about locals walking by and going missing, so I'd steer clear if I were you. Damn, that doesn't sound good. We'll definitely be on a. We'll definitely be on guard. Uh, for sure. Better not take any risks. 
Anyway, after we're done with patrol, let's meet up back here. I'll see you soon. Better not go in there. What are you looking at? Shut up. Wow, the labyrinth sure looks dangerous. We better we better look at it. Is this the place Romero told us about? The labyrinth? He said they canceled construction partway through. Left it abandoned. Only it's not abandoned anymore. <laughs> looks dicey. Ready to check it out? He told us to steer clear of this place specifically. You're just going inside? Yeah. I mean, we're on patrol. Aren't we supposed to investigate danger? Maybe, but... Whoa there. Seems you're considering venturing into the nether. Don't tell me. You're after the great reward. <laughs> Come again? Know ye not? This building stretches deep into the bowels of the earth. They say any who reach the bottom will find treasure beyond description. Many have entered. Seeking riches and power and glory. It's the Chalice Dungeons. Most never been seen again. Awesome! Seriously? Hey, is that why we heard people go missing in here? Perhaps. The labyrinth obeys not the laws of this world. It thwarts any with hubris enough to think it navigable. Those who cross the threshold to that underworld oft find their path distorted and return ever unattainable. Of course, were I them, I'd count myself lucky to simply be ransomed or killed by the scofflaws who've taken harbor inside. Uh, okay, wait. So the building does have people staying in it? Ah, tis a sinner's hive therein, a lawless sepulchre. Authorities have long since given up on the his order. Turned a blind eye, they have. Moreover, it's said that those who meet their ends inside <laughs> join the curse which keeps the maze air. <laughs> tis truly some horror movie. <laughs> You're saying the layout of the place changes? Such is its dark legend. Further fouler details I know not, for I am merely a watchman. Take heed of my warnings if your lives be of value. We're going in. What now? Mm. Did you hear that scream just now? Mm. Are we gonna check it out? Like I said before, we're here to patrol. Can't ignore something like that. Yeah, figured as much. Thanks for the story, old man. Ha! Ah, as you will. I've been practicing it for months. Think you might spare a dollar for my spiel? Yeah. Uh -huh. I'm not some kind of video game character. It takes time and effort for me to hang around here warning people. Yeah, ten bucks. You were a big help. Here you go. What? S seriously? This box? It's just ten bucks. Wow. You're a living legend of generosity, fella. Shit. I really hope you don't die in there. <laughs> Appreciate it. Right. Let's go. Cool. So I think I think this is gonna be like the sewer from. Uh. Okay. There's something foreboding about this place. Yeah. Labyrinth is the perfect word for it. It's like a video game dungeon. Someone help me! Who's there? He came from up ahead. Let's go. Dungeon diving. Dungeons are lawless zones, rife with adversaries. Their layout changes every time you enter, and denizens grow stronger as you progress. Rumor has it that the most powerful foes lurk in the lowest depths, so make sure you're ready for the descent. Losing a battle inside a dungeon will transport you back to its entrance. A dungeoneer's duty. Within the dungeons, you might stumble upon some innocent missing persons who are stuck in dangerous situations. Be sure to lend a helping hand if you happen to find them. 
you'll be able to gather a number of unique items as you explore. In fact, some of these items can only be found within, so it pays to be thorough. Deliver these to recipients wanting waiting back at the entrance will help for rewards. Okay, cool. We got gameplay. Scary. We need to slow down now. I mean, oh, what is that? This is good. We got our Tartarus warm up. Seems like that old man was right. It's easy to lose your way in here. No wonder people go missing. You could spend days in here and not learn the layout. Maybe it's true. Maybe the place is cursed after all. Doesn't seem like they're on this floor. Up with you. Let's keep. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm a hard guy. Okay, I'm up. Huh? Oh. We got like we got like new metal riffage going on. Follow my lead. Hmm. Uh, which one was oh, it? This one. Yeah. Ready for the knockout. <laughs> Oh! Alright, that was damage. Oh! Robo discs. Okay. Oh, you know. We can't lose. Hey, you there. Hey, you this there. This will be a good workout. Right. Time to throw down. Okay. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Let's go. Here I come. So you're on I won't that. Ready when you are. Cool. That's not bad. Oh god, they're gonna be like bloated. Yo, I think I found something. Yeah, but there's gonna be gear. There's gonna be things we kinda need. This is gonna be kind of an ironic time to ask this question. Uh, uh, did Tartarus have a thing where once you found the exit to the next floor, you could hit a button and automatically go to it? Because <laughs> you want, I, I feel something I played had that that feature. So you're saying so like. Because like, obviously Tartarus has levels and an exit to the next floor. Yeah. So you're, you're what you're describing is you're exploring the, the thing. Just like you what find we're doing. The elevator, whatever what the fuck it was. Yeah. Staircase, yeah. You and Ready you could just teleport back to it but continue exploring. Yeah, you found it, then you could just. Uh... It might not have been three. I I, I swear to God yeah, this existed I, I in some no game though. I have no recollection of this. However. Right Maybe. I mean, I was I played that game 12 years ago. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah. Boulder Breaker. I have a vague recollection of some game doing that, where once you found the 
the the progress point you could maybe it was mementos huh. i think i see something should i open it is it a fucking mimic whoa there was a creep hiding inside gonna cry for my bring it on okay i'm up to Olympiad. Oh, come on. I better get my fucking key back. Follow my lead. I got my key back. Hey, I'm even stronger now. Yes, I'm a fat. I think I'm getting better at this. Kiri's bomb of the team has enhanced his skills. He'll sometimes change attack down enemies. To know some asshole was gonna pop out. Happens in Hawaii, Japan. Why do enemies love hiding in boxes? Cozy. Mm -hmm. Persona 3 did not have that at all. No. What? Maybe it was Mementos then that had that. Right. Time to throw down. Okay. That sentencer. Are oh, you getting scared? Prepare so yourself. I won't hold back. Nothing personal. We're uh we're dealing damage now. Break yourself. Open one. Nice knowing you. Safe key, nice. I'm all fired. Trying to think, what what other games had a feature like that where where you're going through dungeons? Three Persona three, four, and five come to mind. Yeah, oh, I fucking. I uh, um, found something. I mean, did did Doctrine have something like this? No, no, oh, Doctrine see, didn't have yeah. any procedurally generated Procedure stuff. Procedurally generated stuff, but it did have like layered areas. Yeah, but uh, but nothing. No, you you had. Yeah, you were you were playing the. Are oh. hey, you seeing what I'm seeing? What are you seeing? Huh? Should I don't I have a ton of keys. Got it. Yeah, I don't know if that's worth it. Hmm. Just like Persona. Oh my God, he's silver. That'll worm. Okay, I'm up. I don't think it was uh, SMT4. SMT4? Okay, that sounds right. I'm no, say I'm, I'm saying Dragon not. Quest. Oh, it's not SMT4. Dragon Quest doesn't have anything like that. Definitely not Spring Journey, because those are all pre-made dungeons. Follow my lead. Yeah, it wasn't Strange Journey. But they are labyrinths, so I could still see it having something like that, right? Like it, uh, yeah, that, that game's pretty elaborate, so... And there's a lot of floors. Yeah, I don't think Persona 5 did. I don't recall this being in Mementos. Uh, here I come. Did no damage, but it was an AoE, so that's good. Alright, Merciless Melee, here we go. Yeah, I suppose it's I literally can. world that added in, but uh, don't recall off the top of my head, Your Honor. Uh, if it was in 4 or 4 Golden, one. I wouldn't know. Uh, yeah, I don't, know. I don't think it was. Oh, what is that? All right, let's keep moving. Ah. That's how you do it. Please, 
sink me. They sound close by. Help me. What, done already? You're pathetic. Hey, you okay? The hell? Who are all of you? You after the treasure in here? I heard someone crying for help, so I came. Why are you here? Stress relief, or so my doctor calls it. Let a lost lambs wander in here. I have some fun with them. Keeps my blood pressure down. Uh, uh, of course, this puddle of chicken shit had no fight in them. I'm thinking I still got stress to spare. How about you guys? Wanna help me cool off for a while? <laughs> You're welcome to try. Might end up worse off than you started, though. Big fucking talk. Let's see it. Let's play a game. Show me what oh! Okay, I'm up. Whoa. Scary. Wilding around. Follow my lead. Can they like not be knocked around? Sure, <laughs> fine. I can't grapple them. They're too strong. Just like us for real, except we're we're not that tall. Oh God! Why do they turn into evil clowns? Out of court jester, <laughs> classless clown. Mm hmm. Well, you know what, Kiryu? We might as well get you to rank 18, I guess. With that job. <laughs> Doing better than I. Learning more every day. Who knew I had it in me? I don't know how to thank you all. I was curious about that damn treasure, but then once I was inside, I couldn't get out. And I got caught in... Oh, uh, what a nightmare. Okay. I don't know what this treasure's all about, but nothing's worth more than your life. Stay away from this place from now on. Right. Wise words, those. Here, take this at least for saving me. Uh... A surfboard from the future. With boosters. Sup? Do you know if there are any more people trapped here? I'm afraid so. I could hear them calling for help from further down. Some of us wandered in out of sheer curiosity. I had no idea what we were getting into. Even more came looking for the treasure. And it seems the lower floors are home to truly dreadful characters. You all seem strong enough, but I'd still advise an abundance of caution venturing any deeper. You would- ah, ah, ah. Hey, what's wrong? Oh, hi. He's really beaten up. Let's get him back to safety. We're all pretty worn out too, yeah? Not a good idea to keep going right now. Okay. No. I want to keep going. Is there an Idol Master girl that's as tall as Kiryu and each male if not taller? Kirara? Kirara, I think her name is? Ki Kiryu? Ki like that. There's probably a bunch. There's a shit Thank ton so of... Uh, Take care. There's a shit ton of Idolmaster girls. You're clear from now on. Got it. 
Jeez, they were right to call it the Labyrinth. This place is hella cursed. Maybe. On God. Oh, there really are stronger enemies in there. For real, for real. I can't think of a better place to test our skills. Yacht. And, and then Kiryu says, too, fuck them old. Fine. If you're sure, I'm down to come by again. There are more people inside there, frightened and alone. When we're ready, I'll be able to read faster and get through this dialogue. Okay. That's nice. Are there any side quests that are only available at night? Probably. I, I know the kid's only available during the day. The lemonade kid. Oh fucking Christ, it's Ono Michio. What's going on? Oh, you're all still alive, huh? I was scrounging around for anything valuable and I found this hunk of junk. Curious thing, ain't it? Won't budge at all. Oh, oh my god. Is it an animatronic Ono Michio? Seems like it might be worth something if it were still moving. Ah, oh, well, added to the list of creepy bullshit, I suppose. Fare thee well, ye dauntless travelers. Huh, some kind of broken robot? Might just be out of juice. Mind if I take a look? <laughs> uh, you know about this stuff, Tommy? Hmm. A bit. Strange. Should be working now. It's almost like it's... Sleeping. Probably too busted up. Weird. I feel I've seen it before somewhere. Whoever made it had no taste, though. Kiryu's just in the background, like, shaking as he remembers going through the hell for this thing. Hmm. What did you just say, Tumichi? Whoa. What? It, it talked? I was designed by the very best in mascot marketing. I am Robo Michio. Hmm? Robo Michio? Oh, I get it. That's why it looks so familiar. Some kind of spin off of Ono Michio. Wait, how do you know about Ono Michio? Isn't he just the mascot for some tiny port in Hiroshima? Yeah, well, yeah, but still, everybody knows Ono Michio. He's a hit with fans worldwide. Most people consider him king of the mascots, the apex of Japanese culture itself. Y you explaining on Pawn Man to me. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's true, though. <laughs> the, the the apex of Japanese culture. Not, <laughs> not, not Goku? Not Goku. <laughs> Honestly, check any shopping center and you'll find boatloads of Michi merch. Legitimate or bootleg. He's just that popular. Time to think. I'd heard talk of some kind of mechanized Michio. Never knew they actually came out with it. It's Affirmative, Michi. Oh, yeah? Uh, I just saw a funny tweet the other day that was like the, pic the picture of Akira Toriyama, right? And it's like this fucking scrawny Japanese nerd got more people to work out and hit than, uh, anything, yeah, else in than anything else. Yeah, than anything else. Yeah. I am equipped with a suite of security functions. As such, I was stationed here to ward off trespassers, Michi. However, it would seem that I ran out of power, allowing the area to become infested by scr by criminal cum. <laughs> Criminals cum. Criminal cum. <laughs> Criminal cum, but it's like it's actually it's it's two C's in cum because I moved the C from criminal over to the no I no no I guess I took the S in the C yeah no uh, never mind never mind it's still just one C in cum everyone ever everyone feel feel good about that infested by criminal cum Michi uh, you think if they were gonna leave security to a robot they'd give it an extension cord or something. So, now that you're working again, are you gonna head inside and sweep all the troublemakers out? Michi much to be- Michi much to my chagrin. I currently lack the necessary energy to engage in combat. Without full power, I can operate in- I can only operate in safety mode. Oh. Oh. The Ono. Oh I should have known. The fucking- the floppy disk we picked up had Ono oh written on it. Fuck. Are you familiar with the- 
Game Gear, the iconic portable entertainment device released by the Sega Corporation in 1991, featuring such classic titles as Defenders of Oasis and Sonic Drift 2. Many have deemed its battery life in my own ability abominably similar, Michi. That's a pretty obscure example. No, it's not. Even in recovery mode, it takes Michi several days or longer to fully charge. Sheesh. That really is crap. So what? You can't do anything about the labyrinth? It is a regrettable situation. My programming compels me to deal with these Michi miscreants, yet my cold iron body cannot comply. Wait a Michi. Hmm? Wait a what? Perhaps throwing flesh at the problem may prove effective. Um, please. If I do not compl complete my Michi mission, how will I ever face my creator? For a semi-evolved primate, you seem fairly sturdy. Your expression also suggests an exploitable sense of justice in that you otherwise have very little keeping you occupied. Uh, this robot's kind of an asshole. <laughs> What if I were to offer you recompense? Human society, I am told, functions by withholding vital resources from the masses unless they perform ceaseless menial labor, Michi. Thoughts? Stupid machines got a point. Plus, we want to test our skills and get stronger, right? Yeah, I guess so. Got it. Fine. We were probably going to go back in anyway. But not for its sake, for the people trapped inside. Thank you very Michi. Once my charge is complete, I will be sure to assist you. Further, Michi, if you like, I can offer you advice on the many dangers within. Lastly, how shall I address you in the future? I suggest Frono Michi. Let's just go with Ichiban Koska. A pleasure, Michiban Koska. <gasps> Michiban Koska. I wish nice. the best of your human luck. Whew. That was something, all right. I know we'll get stronger from it, though. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, that's gonna be nice. All these sound pretty good, but... And nothing works for me. <laughs> oh, yeah. I got choosy taste. Always so hard to choose. <sighs> I want to wear it all. I think it's the normal one. It's a little gaudy. No? What am I feeling? <sighs> I want to wear it all. Today's fit? What matches my personality? Today's fit? Oh yeah, this is cool. What matches my personality? Who's sexy? Today's oh yeah, this is cool. Oh. Uh yeah, we can we can keep carry you as, as is for now. Yeah, but what skill did you want? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's that one. Relentless Dragon right, Dance. Charge. Yeah, it yeah, it's not it's only doubles because this they didn't think that one through. But in theory that makes the crit bigger. Yeah. Um ultimately. Maybe it's time I change styles. One theory would be mana efficient at the very least. How are you meant to choose? Because if like yeah, that's that's true. The, also. If the skill costs more than twenty mana, right? Uh, yep. yep. It'd be cheaper to cast the twenty and then cast the other thing. Look at that. The jet surf for. Look at that fucking thing. That's Kiwami. 
Kiwami means extreme. When did I get the stag beetle wrench? Oh, uh, you know. I don't think I teleport over there. But I'm. I kill you. What what great timing for someone joining the call? Yeah, what happened? <laughs> we walk by a guy and, and NPCs when you walk by them get all mad, uh, like, yeah. like enemies, and then he just goes, "God, I want to kill you." But I'm. <laughs> uh, I joined Costco. because. He just wants to fight me. That's fine. I joined because I have uh, I have two standard warps, and I think I'm at 74. Backside bars. Oh shit! And I was, was like, oh, maybe I'll just hold while they're here at the very least. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to see you get a. Uh, okay, let me not. Let me let me not walk <laughs> into the. Uh... I'll uh, I'll kill myself. I do, that would be the okay, honor. I, I'm, 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 I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna watch Brad do this, and I'm gonna describe it all to you, okay, guys. Also, peep the twenty thou. You nice. might, you might not get Very anything, nice. or, or are you? You're not like at hard pity, are you? For this? Yeah. Uh, I'm at He's seventy four. So he could, he could get a five. Star. Oh, okay. Yeah. Rip that shit. Come on, hurry up. Yeah, I'm, I'm working sorry, sorry. here. I right, skip I it. Next. All right, next. Damn. Yeah, uh, I mean, that, it, like you're you're more likely to get something at 77, 78, 79 actually. Yeah. Darn. Oh, well, I'm yeah. at 289, so it's not bad. Uh, Brad's a, Brad is disappointed. Uh, everyone knows yeah. you have bad gotcha luck. Yeah. Sorry for the. the Us so all. Hard. Anyway, I'm gonna go kill. <laughs> Uh, I just said it. I want to live. I wanna. I wanna live. Need to. Uh, yeah, like, yeah, you still have to uh, become fire punch. Yeah, it's, it's true. <laughs> you no, can't I, die. <laughs> no, I need to. Uh, oh, that's the vocational school. Oh God. I need to oh, see I'm, if I, I like. Need if I need to that. see if I like the new nickname in a week, two weeks. I just, I just don't know. I just, I won't Remind, know. Reminds me of the. Uh, uh, Hunter Hunter character. Well, I wanted to be I wanted to be a weeb, right? So like, mm -hmm. it's just it's just pronounced Chrono, right? Like Chrono Trigger, because that's how it would be like Udo, no. spe okay, okay. spelled out, right? As the idea. Mm -hmm. Uh, that that's it. It literally was because of Chrono Trigger. You, you I was felt just looking it. stuff up. I was just looking stuff up about the game after I saw a picture of a fucking uh, uh, Magus. I was like, you know what? I think maybe I'll get, I'll flex it a little bit. So yeah, it's just it's just Chrono. How it's said. Hey, sorry we're late. No worries. We're just glad for the help. I think that's about it for this area. Uh, there's still another area left, right? Yeah, that'd be the art walls. Colin should be should already Gosh. be there. Hey, thanks so much. I'll be heading back to the food bank now. Hope you'll keep helping us out. Colin's dead. That's fair. Yeah, Trust I got those. Good, uh, yeah, the art walls. This way, bro. Oh. Kudo, I knew I know exactly what you were gonna fucking say. <laughs> said. I knew exactly what that was. Yeah, everyone, please go look up how uh, how uh, uh, Togashi <laughs> Krolo wanted Crollo's yeah. name to be spelled. It just reminds me of Yahweh. Yeah, yeah, it's it's, it's, it's definitely yeah, yeah. It's like definitely just in gibberish. that vein. I've cleared uh, Golden Gears 4, so that's where, that's where I got the two poles from. Right, right. So I was like, uh, it, it's really funny. I, I'm i actually a really, really big dumbass. I'm actually incredibly <laughs> stupid. Uh-huh. Because uh, I, I, like, I've been trying to slowly chip away. Like, I think I've done, like, f like th th I think I did three... Sword Disaster runs today and two Golden Gears runs. So I was just like, you know, 
We got an, let's, 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 we got an let's alley progress. here. Holy shit. Hey, I haven't been down hey, here yet. Nice. I, nice. I, yeah, yeah, I mean, nice. you're going to get mugged here, but yeah. Dolls. Yeah, that's always a little... Always oh, God. Little how, do I, how do I get off my scooter? <laughs> well, I'm going to kill them with my... What are you holding? It's my... What do you mean, what am I holding? Is it a surfboard? Yeah, it's a future surfboard. All of, the, all of these classes are busted! Wait, 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 look at their names, look at their names in the top right, look at their names. Kane and Kane and Kane. Surf's up. Uh, anyway, the, the reason why I realized that was a dumbass is because I was having, I was having trouble doing the higher difficulty ones I without you know, having the tree fully fleshed out. Like, even four, I, I would pull up to a boss, yeah. and if, if my run wasn't perfect, I would just get clapped. And I'm like, damn, what am I doing wrong here? And I'm like, oh yeah, you dummy. You can just run double sustain, you stupid piece of shit. Run double sustain. You can just put Japard in any you can just team. Put Japard in your team. And, and I, it, and I, every me. single run, every single run I've had Japard in, Japard, Locha, and I just did a propagation run with, with Dan and Branya. I was like, this is so easy. It's so easy. Oh, we got, we got, a, we got a ten pole. Oh, oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, we let's go. We got, we got a Sujimon ten pole. Sorry, at this point. Oh! Oh, we got a gold! Oh, we got we a got fucking a five star! Gates chaser. Life's a beach, and the world is your oyster. Oh! Oh! No. Suji Surfer! <laughs> Number <laughs> one, two, three! <laughs> wow. Shiver. <laughs> All right, Jack. We got a fucking five star. It's because we had the surfboard equipped. Oh, nice. that's awesome. Fuck yeah. The dopamine, man. Where is he? You're right there to the left. Wow. Shark Tornado. He's fast. He's like Shark super- Shark Tornado, you say? He's like fucking- yeah. He's like super fucking fast, goddamn. Oh, this is the- this is the- this is the this Gimp is Bar, it. or the Gimp- the well. Gimp Shop. Yeah. Alright, come on. Whoa, this is different. Hey, you sure about this? Taking her here of all places. Oh, um. Oh my God! Ichiba, Among us. Look, this whip—it's all spiky. I wonder what you do with these chains. Ouch. Oh, oh, and hey, there's candles. You know, I she digs it. I mean, this stuff looks pretty painful. Maybe she's just into the weapon aspect. Let's just say that's what it is. Itose is a goober. Who, want, who wants a massage? Aw, oh, thanks. Oh, I, it was the kid. Okay. Aloha. We got, we got the health ring, the massive massage machine, the jumbo sausage. That like jerky? Oh, it's for detectives. <laughs> okay. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, no, those are, those are for Ascender number 1999, 1919. Uh, may instantly KO. Yeah, and these are all for Night Queen. That's for Idol. Okay. Thank you. Nice. Uh, what am I doing here? I'm just. I've never been here. That's why I'm here. Knock it off with the staring. Hmm? Knock it off with the staring. I'm looking at you, bro. There's a ton of graffiti around here. No matter how many times it gets cleaned up, there's more the next day. The owner gave up. It's the same story for every back alley in Japan. Did you ever do any graffiti, Ichiban? Hell no. Most I did was draw in my textbooks as a kid. 
Oh, yeah, I used to draw pictures in the corners and make animations out of it. <gasps> like a flipbook? Damn, would have never guessed. Tomi Zawa, a man of many hidden talents. All right. We've almost completed no, him. I've gotten to know them well. Aloha. This is three star gear. It's worth considering. Thank you. I could take on it. I keep getting flipped around. I did not think we were going in that direction. Balls and Devils Playhouse. Wait, there was a like a activity I can do there? Oh, we need to do the the fucking uh, Tinder mini game more. Oh, it was this. There we go. The nightlife, hanging out at clubs, will not completely restore your HP and MP, but also will not only, but also deepen bonds with allies. The amount your bonds grow will be determined by the number of hearts you earn through parties and shows. Aim to get a perfect by selecting the right girls and ordering good food. Hello? Oh, I remember this. Thank you very. Uh, we'll, we'll do this another time. It, I remember doing it a lot <laughs> in seven. You got Aloha. Just a fucking California roll. Thank you. Let me Make it in there. Yeah. This is it. That came out well. Fine then. Oh, wait, were those good? My eyes gl glossed over for a second. No, they were just regular ones. Yeah, you, you, you pick up so much uh, garbage, right? Like, yeah. when you actually get an item, it's like, wait, what? Like, oh, like for example, like the beetle something. wrench. Like, Should I open it? the hell did you get it? Who knows? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Combat knife, that's a four star. Take a look at it. <laughs> uh, that's for... Is that, is that Dojima Kiryu? No, no, that's gonna be for um. You can't actually look at the weapons. I think you can't hear. But only for the right job. No, there's a, there's a weapon list somewhere. Uh. Don't really matter. Uh, I I think it's for the ninja class. They, they 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 use knives. Get serious. So that'll be nice. Where am I going? Now let's unlock that uh, stop there. Yeah, buddy. Bam. Aloha. How's it going? Eddie. <clears throat> Ooh, that's a fancy free magazine. Close. Hey. This is it. That came out well. We're in full swing. Is this the end of the map? Have we reached it finally? Bullet Hell Armory. I walked into a side quest? Huh? What's with all the pineapples? Is this a fruit stand or something? Maybe it's some kind of garage. Wrong on both accounts, buddy. Part of the operation here is actually selling guns. G guns? Really? Thought maybe I could have grabbed a smoothie. Nope, but you can probably score some under the table deals though. I hear they've got all sorts of weapons. Now, I know Japan's nowhere near as uh, gun crazy as we are, but still couldn't hurt to have a okay. look, right? Yeah, I guess we could see what's in there. Actually got me curious. You think they sell pineapples too? Heh, <laughs> only one way to find out. 
This is it. That came out well. The fuck, it's Ashley from Resident Evil Drink 4. Later. Aloha! It's guns. Who uses the brass knuckles? Thank you. All right. <clears throat> kind of weird there was a conversation for that. Damn. Another weapon shop here. What do you sell? Welcome. Okay. All right, the chef. Thank you very much. Chef was kind of good. All right, come with me. Okay. Oh boy. Alright, actual fight incoming. Let's go. So we got here. Power wash. A burn. Plus your weapons attribute. AoE. I don't know if I have a heal right now. No, I do, I do, I do. Let's go, let's go. What? Well, I'm waiting. Here I come. Let's go the heat. Cool. You know what? I haven't seen this yet. Damn. We just get that on everything. Well, we definitely have to fight Asakura then. As, uh, as much as we can. Why was that damage so bad? Ouch. Maybe the tag team things have to like rank up via like. Ooh, she's got one HP. It's like, it's like one of those systems. You're not weak to anything. Ready for the knockout. Let's do this. I gotta kill this guy. Oh. Ichi bones next. Is he at one HP? Okay. Yeah, yeah he's at one HP. Got to walk in line with the other one. I need him to walk to the left. He's not going to. Ah, fuck. 
Should heal everyone. Hopefully, tell me don't walk away. Alright, we're good. We're good. Ouch. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Here I come. Follow up. Uh. Okay. Something wrong. Oh, come on. Much better. Oh, needed you to do that. Um. Nothing personal. I fucked up the input. I was mashing like a fool. Like so many Zala. Ichiban might die here. Damn. I think I'm getting better at this. Sheesh. Damn. Hey, uh, hey, I need a drink. Hey, pretty good. Good stuff. It's not bad. <laughs> that tasted pricier than it was. Damn. Yeah, I'll take some. <laughs> Okay. Are they protecting anything? Nope. Is this another? Uh oh. Uh oh. They're fucking dead. I'm just not We uh we have no mana. We gotta kill this guy. Maybe if I had full mana. Drink Maybe soon. if I had full mana. Nope, 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 nope. Eat say? Oh, you sell the good shit. That was 100 bucks. Whatever. I spend money. Where am I? Okay. Mm. Probably help these guys. Just want to get level up materials. Did we do power wash yet? Check the PSI. Oh! Dong defeated. I won't hold back. Well, I'm nothing waiting. personal. Ready as I'll ever be. What's the whole Break yourself! Right now and yet. That's good damage. Anchor to the blanker. I will now uh teleport and heal.
like a reasonable person. I suppose Cabby's not dealing as much damage as I was, as I was hoping it would be. So I was thinking it would actually be like a really good magic damage class. Let's see here. Uh, I need his like actual stats, not his fake stats. He's only got, he, he's actually like kind of an all rounder. Whereas she has really high magic. Now I do have two rings on her that are helping with that. So, hmm. He does provide a lot though. This is it. That came out well. Aloha. Thank you for stopping. I can't wait to regret not having any of these things on hand. That person's gonna fucking kill me. This will hop on. Whoa. Whoa. Holy shit. What the fuck is this? Nirvana Coastal Hotel. Will they let me in? That's so sad. We're in full swing. Don't aggro, don't aggro, don't aggro, don't aggro. Sure, we'll be fighting at the top of that at some point. I'm not here. I'm not real. You can't hurt me. Hello. Is this something we can go into? Yes, but not right now. Should we get going? Are we gonna go beat ass down in this alleyway? What the fuck's this? Oh, for the longest time, this place was all factories and warehouses. It was pitch dark at night and attracted a bad crowd. But then it all got redeveloped about 10 years ago. We left the wall open for artists all over the world to come and draw what they wanted. And now look. Pretty cool. All the young folks come by to check it out. Oh, look at all the places you can eat, too. Yeah, the eateries are a big hit with the tourists. They started popping up here as the inner city became oversaturated. We're by Chinatown. I hope I hope Zhao's there for some for some reason. Oh, please stop. I I'm begging you. This place is my livelihood. Your livelihood? Huh. Did no one tell you we're the new owners? What's wrong? Is, is there some sort of trouble? Who the hell are you? We're with Palikana on Neighborhood Watch. Palikana? Oh, thank goodness. Please, you have to listen. I've been running this cafe for 30 years now, and I never once have endured such violence. Yeah, quit bitching. If you'd have paid your debt, we would have It's Ichiban's be. fault for being here that caused you. this. Oh, we know who you borrowed from. Thing is, this morning, we bought that lender out. So as of now, your debt and this shithole is ours. Even so, you can't just budge in here like this. The previous lender agreed I could pay off my loan in installments. We had a deal. You're a native Hawaiian, aren't you? What difference does that make? Well, cheer up. We're turning this place into a boba shop and your ass can run the register. The Howleys ought to eat that shit up. 
Now let's get renovated. That's enough! Aren't you Polycana people supposed to be volunteers? Volunteers should stay the fuck out of business. Strong-arming helpless shopkeepers is hardly what I call business. And I'd like to ask you to leave. And trust me, you'll be hearing from our lawyers. Oh yeah? How about you scram, or you'll be hearing out your asshole? I'm staying right here. Oh, <laughs> you sure? Then maybe we ought to tear you up first, huh? Threaten me all you want. I'll never budge. <laughs> Get a load of tough guy here. He thinks he can stand up to us. <laughs> all right. Let's see if you're still standing after that. I don't know who you are. Guy's arm gets chopped are, off. But anyone who'd hurt an innocent person deserves to get shut down. What the? You another poly kind of prick? Nope. Just a heathen prick off the streets. And as far as religion goes, I admit, I don't get the appeal. But Callan, I think you guys do it right. You might even make it seem cool. Kasuga. God damn! Can a man not shake someone down in peace? <laughs> Boys, we're wrecking these bastards. Show me what you got. Okay. okay, I'm up. Damn, you're fast. Like I, I suppose, on some grand level, it's it's Ichiban's fault all this is happening. But he always resolves it, so I guess it's fine. It, it, it only happens because he he can uh, deal with it so well. What's my go-to here? Probably this. Oh, you're guarding. Fuck. I wasn't paying attention. I don't think I want to do that. Something Open one. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Yo, let's do that thing. All right. Watch where you're looking. You might get hurt. Who's got a grapple? I think Kiryu's got a grapple. I won't pull back. Yeah, Kiryu's got a grapple. Nothing personal. He's got like a counter stance. No? Sure, I'll play with you. Got you now. Got you, Sarah. Let's get it done. Alright, anchor to the blinker. Oh, come on. Bring it. Something wrong. Okay, I'm up. Check the PSI. And pick it I don't think I've done this. Oh yeah, I have. No, I haven't. Not very good. Follow my lead. Come on. Trying desperately to ready for the knockout. Stay off the uh the leak subreddit. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. What, what, are you, what are you talking about? Uh, it's, uh, it's a place for them that they break the law. Not like... Oh, not, not like how to fix like a faucet leak. How? No, I mean breaking the law by, by fixing faucet leaks illegally. 
Everyone's done it. I, well, I believe I. Well, I mean, I haven't. I've just it, theoretically, you know, you you can illegally mod your shower head. Let's get it done. Are there actual like legal regulations in place for this stuff? I, I don't know. It, so it's standardized that you um. It, it has a. If your shower head has low water pressure, it's because there's this like uh, button in it that limits the amount of water that passes through it. Uh, if you break that thing off, yeah, your water bill is gonna go up, and yeah, you're using more water than the city wants you to. But I mean, hey, like that fucking feels nice. Not that I would know. I, I have no idea what I'm saying. I'm just. Right. It just it just makes sense. I yeah. I, no, I didn't see a Reddit post. Uh. Yeah, my, my father was a, a, a framing contractor, right? You know, he's seen a lot of stuff to do with houses uh, over time. Look what you done to my shop! Rika? Oh, well. That does it. Jow, call him off. While you had the chance. Oh, fuck, cutscene. Don't do it! Eat lead! Huh? What's wrong? Safety's Goddamn on. Trigger stuck. The hell? Is it jammed? Uh, shit! Cease this at once. Madam Nele, you see, forbids the use of fire in human conflicts. Sorry for casting that spell. Who the fuck are you? Now, be good and hand me the gun. Attempting to shoot will only make things worse for you. Get the hell away from me! Oh! oh! What did I just do? What? Such a pity. Allow me to tend to your wounds. Get the fuck away! He's a monster. I swear he's a goddamn monster. That had to be a miracle, and I got to bear witness. Bryce truly is blessed by the goddess. Who's this dude? He's the Haku? Sage of oh, that's, I the sage. Mentioned. that's Bryce Fairchild himself. So that's him. You the final boss? Oh my god. A miracle. Good grace is a miracle. Rejoice, for Madame Nele has extended her divine protection to you. And your establishment. Madam Nelly, mahalo yo oi. And you, my child, I trust that you're unharmed. Okay. <laughs> Game's getting weird. What a fascinating story. Now I see why you're all eager to find Akane. For one reason or another. Yeah. We came by because we heard she was the director here. And that's what makes her disappearance all the more concerning. Without her guidance, I fear this orphanage might have closed its doors long ago. That's why I visit as often as I can. To see how things have developed. I was wondering something. Why did Kane-san join Polykana in the first place? I believe she left Japan because living there became untenable. One way or another. So, she came to Hawaii to get back in touch with her roots. Right. Captain Sawashiro did mention that. However, she found no support from her relatives. That's when Palakana reached out to her. Shortly after, she was welcomed into the faith. Since then, she's been a model believer. Never have I witnessed such pure, unwavering faith in all my years. Then, was she chosen to be a Haku? Ah, I'm impressed you know that much about us. I did mention to her that she would be the perfect Haku candidate. But you know what she said? She said she'd rather stay at the orphanage until it's her time to go. <sighs> Father Bryce, guess what? 
I helped make dinner this evening. You did? Then I suppose it's time to dig in. How much would you like? Well, I'm supposed to be out on diets, but today's special. One big helping, please. Yes, sir. Ichiban, if you do find out where Akane is, please let me know as soon as possible. Sure thing, but aren't you usually hanging out on Nele Island? I am, but you can let the staff here know, so they can get in touch. All right. Well, think we ought to get going? I think so. Oh, won't you stay and eat with us? It's almost dinner time. You sure? I mean, I am pretty famished. What about you guys? Good idea. That's very kind of you. It's the least I could do. Kasuga, everyone. It's been a pleasure talking with you this evening. Likewise. To know Akane-san found a good place where she belonged, I'm nothing but happy for her. Yes. I'm convinced she felt the same. Hey, where'd Chichan run off to? Chitose! Where are you? It's dinner time! She's not over here, if you're wondering. Yeah, I've been sticking with Ichiban this whole time. Fine. Actually, it turned out all right. If anything, that helped me earn their trust even more, what so... What the fuck? Again? Really, lady? Hey! Chichan! Where you at? I get that. Look, I gotta go. Uh, <laughs> I'm right oh. here, silly! <laughs> Man, I'm starving. <laughs> what are we having? Can't believe this bitch. No wonder I couldn't finish a fucking line on her bingo card. <sighs> Damn. Well, that was chapter five where nothing really happened. And here's chapter six called Puppet on a String. Or something's probably gonna happen. Look, Kiri's on screen. That's a good sign. Is there some reason I have to go outside every time we do this? It's the best safeguard against wiretapping. Well... So Akane-san was the director of a Polykana orphanage. Everyone in the organization seemed to know her. Yes. And even the sage himself is concerned for her safety. Interesting. It seems your investigation's going well. If you've got something Not to really? say, then say it. Whatever you do, you report it to me. Don't think I didn't hear about your little tussle with the Barracudas. Ow. If you already know, then why do I need to report? You might want to rethink your situation a bit. Maybe you don't fear anything, seeing as your days are numbered. But you're a spider hanging by a single thread. Steer clear of the flames below. I'll be more careful. Continue tracking the subject, then. After all, you've got a lot riding on this. Uh, also... What? You're not done lecturing? I was going to ask if you did what you came to do. Hmm, with the ring? Yeah. The woman you loved. Yumi-san, was it? I understand her dream was to get married in Hawaii. So you wanted to at least take her ring to the place she longed for. That's why you accepted this mission in the first place. Yeah. Then, with that out of the way, let's try to focus on the mission, shall we? I certainly hope you can. Beat. Uh. Beat. <laughs> Turn on the TV at least, guys. Sorry for the wait. What did they say? The Daidoji faction. They called, right? Seems like we're the closest to Akane-san. 
They had no other info on their end. The plan stays the same. We find Akane-san before anyone else, and we protect her. Gotcha. So, no clues from them, then? Nope. All they could do was tell me to stay in line. I'm sure. It's not like you're the easiest guy to keep tabs on. Dumbass? What's that supposed to mean? Come on. You really don't think so? He'd be a good boss, at least. Hey, take it easy, you two. You might hurt my feelings. <laughs> yeah, you look real hurt, Kiryu-san. Do I? Hi. Hi. It's gotten late. Ready to call tonight? Don't rest no. yet. Still want to do a couple things if that's okay with you. All right, go ahead. We are in the hotel room. And we can leave. Huh. How about that? Huh. How about that? And we unlocked, uh... It's that area, I guess. Okay. Neat. Uh, let's take a break. Yep. Go, let, me, let me go back in the room here. Unless it automatically triggers stuff. Here we, go, we got a nice view of the city. Look at that. This is the best angle. <laughs> Good. Alright. I'll be right back.
Yo. It's a trailer for On Guy Star Wars. Ooh. Alright. I uh sorry if that took a little bit longer. We just got a new dryer. New uh -huh. quote unquote. Our old dryer was perfectly fine. But it didn't have a handle. I don't know what happened to it. So we would open it by um taking a fork or any utensil really, and just kinda there was like an opening where the handle would have been, right? You know, places mm -hmm. for the plastic to get stuck into and stuff. And we would just, you know, wedge it open that way. Kind of shove it up there, pull. I never had a problem with this. The dryer was quite large. It worked nicely. Fit in the wall good. Um, it really just, the only problem was that. Uh, but we have now inherited a, a dryer because my uncle just moved to, moved into the area. And we got the dryer that the house had that he that he just bought that he moved into because they're bringing their own dryer they don't need the ones that were already in there um so my mom's like well we'll take it and we have the washing machine downstairs but our fucking washing machine is like state of the art as far as i know um we're bringing it upstairs and we realize that the plug the cord that this new, wa new quote unquote washing machine has uh, will not fit in the socket in our wall. So we fucking end up taking out the one in the wall only for my dad to be like, I don't think we should have done that. Calls his electrician friend. His electrician friend goes, yeah, you shouldn't have done that. Good luck getting it back in the wall now. 
because those 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 wires are really thick. Um, we get it back in the wall. We we change the cord on the washing machine itself today. We get the washing machine or uh, dryer dryer. Get the dryer in there. And here's the best part. It's a uh, it's a fucking dryer that's designed to be stacked on top of the washing machine, or vice versa. So, the door opens uh, to the side rather than down. Um, so, when you're st it's to the left of the washing machine. So, when you're standing at the washing machine, the door is like in your way to put clothes into the opening to the drum that is much smaller than our old dryer. And then it's also electronic. So it's really loud and it sounds like I'm turning on medical equipment rather than just having a dial for me to like, you know, 60 minutes, start, done. This is like, all right, you got to hold the button down. It goes, eh, 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 and then I overdo it. I'm like, oh, it had buffering. That's cool. <laughs> uh, all right, let me click it back up. Eh, 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 eh. All right, start. I'm like, I don't think this was worth the trouble. I think the I think the fork method was fine. And then my mom's like, no, it's like rapport or something, and I'm like, apparently we are. Anyway. Here you, has that ever happened to you? How's your dryer? You guys got nice dryers? I don't have one. Hmm. So you don't have to deal with it. That sounds no. nice. Um <laughs> Yeah, if you like laundry piling up. Yeah, that's true. Alright. I'm ready to yes. sleep, Kiryu. The dryer is also really ugly. Oh, and the door's like, the hinge is like loose, so like the door drags along the bottom, so you have to like lift it up slightly and push it in. I wonder where you're at right now, Akane san. Oh. About that. I think I might have a good idea. Why? I don't trust Wait, you. Really? But before I say anything, I need to make sure of something. She knows about you, right, Ichiban? That you're her son? I think she gave birth to me, uh, so yeah. Uh, yeah. Captain Sawashiro should have told her. Does she know your face, then? Is she gonna know you're the Ichiban? I think so. Otherwise, she'd have no idea I'm actually me. Knowing the captain, he'd be pretty thorough about all that. Got yeah. it. Got it. Good. You've checked all the boxes. Okay. Hey, what's up? Did I hear we got a plan? curious san Sounds like we're moving. What's going on? Chicha says she might have something. Go on. We all tried to find Akane-san on our own, to the best of our abilities. We tried Akane-san's house and the orphanage she worked at, not to mention the places she did volunteer work for. We even went deep into the heart of a mafia hangout, right? Ah, you know, when you say it like that, I guess we've done some pretty crazy things. Right. Unfortunately, none of that has helped us find Akane-san. Yeah. Even the Daidoji faction hasn't found any more clues. It means one thing. We're running out of options. Finding her on our own is looking a lot less likely. Yeah, I guess so. Doesn't that also mean we've hit a dead end, then? Hang on. There's more to it. Our goal up to now has been simple. Find Akane-san. But what if she was the one who found us? <laughs> Get Akane-san to find us? Okay. How are we gonna do that? Here we go. Instagram. That's where he comes in. Him? Put Ichiban in the spotlight. Slap a video on the internet. We'll make a video that catches as many eyes as possible. Show the world that Ichiban Kasuga's out there. All of Hawaii's gonna know his name. Just wait. All right. Sure. If we make infinite Not money. Board. No, it's a good idea. I mean, really, it is. But I don't know if you heard. Ichiban went through some pretty awful shit in Japan, thanks to a video. The net chewed him up, spit him out. I mean, I doubt he'd want to jump back in. Well, you've got a point, I guess. What'll it be, Kasuga? Hey, Tomi. 
far as gangs around here go, are the Barracudas the only ones in charge? Hmm? Why do you act? And no, they're just a part of it. They only run District 5 and their counterfeit on. Honolulu. And the mall we'll never see again. There's a Chinese group that's similar, if not bigger. All right. Huh? Well, I think it's a great idea, Chichan. Are we starting a gang war? Believe it or not, I pulled a similar thing on TV a few years back. Oh, yeah. He interrupted a live campaign speech, of all things. True story. Wait, you really did that? Well, it was kind of my only option at the time. Anyway, Tommy, thanks for looking out. I got no issue making a video. Oh, all right. Long as you're cool with it. That settles it, then. No, if I just knew where to start. Jitose, are you good with this stuff? Leave it to me. In fact, I'll be the director. You sure about that? Okay. Well, I guess I'll come up with a cool script then. Ichiban, there's a lot you want to say, right? It might be tough to improv. It. Yeah. Hmm. I'll get some cue cards ready. <laughs> what the hell? Let's go for a million views. Maybe we even get one of those gold plaques, huh? This is still about Ichiban, right? Who? Oh. No, I don't know much myself, but it sounds fun. Is there anything I can do? Kiryu hasn't been oh, able no, no. to do any side quests in years. We'll handle all the trivial stuff. No. I may be dying, but I'm not dead yet. These bones still have some life in them, all things considered. Well, um, yeah, then, then you can... Oh, okay. Kiryu-san, I know just the thing. I'm serious. If you're not the man for the job, then no one is. We have, we have entered some story tone for a mainline quest. Oh my god. A video's nothing without sound. Kiryu-san, you're the backbone of this whole thing. So this is what you call a shotgun mic. <laughs> it's a good, strong name. <laughs> no holding back now, Kasuya. I'll spread your voice to the world. <laughs> you got it. Kiryu-san's surprisingly playful, isn't he? Nah. Those eyes are for real. Yeah, he holds that mic like he's staring down a wild beast. <laughs> oh well, at least we know he's fully invested. Right. Mm -hmm. So what are we gonna make the video okay. about? We're good, Ichiban. I'm already rolling the camera, so go ahead and start talking. What are we doing? All right, the text size is good on these, right? Either way, this won't mean much if we don't catch Akane San's eye. She's gotta know her son's out there looking for her. Do whatever you can to make that clear. Yep, we can't lose that. And not only are we uploading this to a fresh channel, but we're trying to make it explode. The bar is ludicrously high here. God only knows if we'll even come close. We need something <laughs> that'll make an impact. Something to make the thumbnail pop, you know? I don't get it. You want an impact, huh? There's gotta be something. Oh! Your penis. Oh no. Ah, but should I? Oh no. It's your fucking crawfish. Huh? What's wrong? Think of something good? Crawfish. Well, I did, but I'm not too sure about it. If you think it's good, then what's stopping you? They're not that rare in Hawaii. I doubt you'll scare anybody. Here you, son. How'd you know? <laughs> Let's just call it a hunch. Besides, it's how I figured out you were here. It's pretty hard to miss. Oh, yeah? Penis? <laughs> Penis? Let's go for it. <laughs> the Ichi Dong? The Ichi Dong. Crawfish? Hey, time out. Huh? You two have some kind of secret language or something? Come on, spill the beans. Uh, my bad. Here. Oh, the fucking tattoo. Feast your eyes. <sighs> Normally, I'd keep this thing under wraps. But, if it helps us get closer to Akane-san, it's worth it. So, think this will make enough waves? <laughs> I think the crowd says it all. This thing's gonna make a tsunami. <laughs> all right, then keep that Like, look at rolling. this guy. <laughs> Impossible to not look at him. Oh, God. <clears throat> A 
allow me to introduce myself. I come from Kamurocho. See, that side quest Some helps. call it the armpit of Tokyo, Japan. Born and raised from the suds of an inner city soapland, the name's Ichiban Kasuga. Some have even called me the hero of Yokohama. <laughs> Separated from my mother at birth, I am now on a quest to find her. And so I've traveled <laughs> land and sea, only to find myself right here in Honolulu City. Mom, if you're out there, I just want to say I love you. And to everyone else, aloha! <laughs> He's a natural-born showman. Hey, don't just straight up ignore the cue cards. The cue cards? Dude, I put my heart into these. It's fine. This is way better material. Now then, as this dragonfish on my back implies, I'm a former but forever rambling Yakuza. So while I search for my dear old mom, I'll be showing you all the sights this island has to offer. I call it Yakuza Kahuna Hawaiian Style. <laughs> he nailed it. He's perfect. He fucking nailed it. He was born for that, yes, dude. Sir. From waddling around a Kamrocho soap land, I later grew up to have my own life in a gene show. But there was something on my mind, so I left Japan, landed here just the other day, and let me tell you, being my first time overseas, a whole bunch of crazy stuff's gone down. For example, right when I got off the plane, I had the pleasure of being robbed at gunpoint. Gunpoint, huh? You heard that right, and it was my boy Tomizaku <laughs> here. Dude, what the hell? This is a terrible intro. He was fluent in Japanese, so I picked his taxi. Who'd have guessed he was a small-time crook? As you can see, however, we've quickly become the best of friends. Hawaii freaking rules! Even the crooks are laid back. Talk about island style. <laughs> the cute the cards. wasn't the last of my Hawaiian hurls. <laughs> Soon after that, I got jacked and wound up butt naked on the beach. That didn't stop Ichiban Kasuga. No, I'm back in action. <laughs> I came here for some big new adventures. Hawaii called me, and boy, did I answer. And cut. Man, did you have to call me out like that? Yes, to say. No way, softer, I yeah, my bad. Uh, but chi chan has got that thing. We don't want her family finding out, right? <sighs> I can't not fuck well, you thought that way about me. Eh, whatever. <laughs> well, you're fucking... Topics, you your your ex will show up. Also, holy crap, Ichiban. Since when were you that articulate? <laughs> I, I learned from experience. They used to have me host the family banquets. <laughs> Guess it pays to work hard while you're young. Anyway, let's hit the streets. Get some shots of Kasuga in the places that really scream how Kiryu's right hand. Sounds good. Okay, Kasuga clan, let's get filming. <laughs> the main story and sub stories have have converged. All right, that should be more than enough material. Great. Now let's throw it all online. Uh, no, no, no. Well, it takes like a month to edit things, things at the rate I go. go. Viral, so it's got to be the best it can be. You'll help me out, won't you, Tommy? Fuck you. <sighs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, it finally feels like I'm actually in Hawaii now. I mean, seriously, it's been trouble this, trouble that, back to back. I guess that's true. But it's been fun on my side, too. Thanks, Kasuka. Ah, you ask me, this is just the beginning. I'm sure there'll be even more fun down the line. We're in Hawaii, after all? Japan's always talking about this place. We ought to enjoy every second, Kiryu-san. Aren't you forgetting why you came here? Not one bit. <laughs> Editing it all together is going to take some time, so you two can hang back until then. Sure. If it's going to take a while, I'll go rest up at the hotel. Yeah, maybe I'll go swimming, since we're near the beach and all. Roger that. See you soon. 
I shouldn't say the video is going to take a bit. Guess I'll take a dip. Uh oh. I was hoping there'd be a. Uh, it, it, it would cut What's over to. On? um. Oh. <laughs> would you look at that? Never thought I'd see the day. No shit. They're so rare, they got all kinds of laws protecting them. Find a buyer, though, and you're swimming in it. You don't say. Lucky us. Now let's hurry up and bag it. Hey! What the hell are you doing? The fuck you care? What, you after this stupid thing, too? Too bad. This one's ours. Why, why would you assume I'm not that? Jack, pal. Still, this turtle? You said it's protected, right? Sounds to me like you should leave it alone. Hey, sea turtles have it rough. This is my pet. See, look how happy it is. Believe me, I'm looking. And who asked you? Hey, let's drown this dumbass. Yeah. Your face misses me off. Battle is on. Oh, solo battle. Okay. Come at me. Uh. Open one. Well, maybe this class isn't so bad. <laughs> yeah, it's good at doing that. <laughs> Looks cool too. Am I, about, am I about to get this turtle as a summon? <sighs> what a bunch of jerks. All good there, little fella? <laughs> Thank you for saving me. Hey, don't mention it. <laughs> Take care now, all right? Wait, what? Did that thing just talk? Oh, that wasn't the turtle. That was me. <laughs> huh? Oh, right. Ah! Hey, what the? Turtle demon! Who are you calling a demon, much less a turtle? Take a closer look. Sure, whatever, man. You're, you're, what? A, uh, uh. Oh, and someone on these teams has a fucking what? fetish for making weird ass oh. mascots. Oh well, he'll live. <laughs> right then, guess we'll take him to the island. Uh. Honestly, turtle demon. Oh, that's just plain rude. Wouldn't you say, Kamakichi? Take his ass to the island. Send him to Animal Crossing. <laughs> no. Force him to build houses and enjoy it. <laughs> no. They teleported him. Uh -huh. Oh my god, the fucking textbook uh -huh. changed. Sheesh, must have hit my head. Am I going to be in massive debt suddenly? Is this going to be the business what minigame? The heck we haven't gotten the place? business minigame yet. Oh, 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 finally awake, are we? Glad to see it. Huh? Why is it? Uh. Uh. Hello! Ha! Monsters! Wrong again, friend. My name's Gachapin, and this here is. Muku. Guilty as charged. Now that I heard you saved my pals Kamakichi and Gachapi, we owe you big time for that. Oh, uh, uh don't mention it. Gachapi and Muku, right? I'm Ichiban Kasuga. Nice to meet you. Ichiban Kasuga? Wow, what a name! Uh, so this place yours? This is Don Doko Island, the ultimate vacation from your worries and cares. A true resort paradise. You say oh. resort? Oh, it's yeah, it's it's the Aloha Hello happy people. Mascots. Oh yeah, the kids just love us. Uh, at least they did. Sure, sure okay. So you're mascots. Oh, sorry to freak and call you monsters and stuff. 
It was all so sudden. You just kind of surprised me. But, uh, is this really a resort? We're the only ones here, and what's up with all the trash? Aww. Oh, you had to mention it. Huh? My bad? Did I, um, say something wrong? There's a reason this place is empty. I'll give you two words. Illegal dumping. Who are you? Name's Matayoshi. I'm the owner of Dondoko Island. I'm told you rescued my friend here. Thanks for that, Kasuka-san. Oh, wow. So this whole place is yours? Oh, nice to meet you. Believe it or not, this island used to be a resort. Truly, fun sights and sounds at every turn. We also had guests at every turn. So much good business, even the residents enjoyed having them here. But you see, at some point, a no-good waste disposal group called the Washbucklers showed up, started illegally <laughs> dumping on our island. You mean, like, trash? What else? From shore to shore, they've littered the place. We're talking high-cost refuse, too. And pollution's only half of it ever since we spoke up. From there, they started destroying everything. Worse! They even started harassing the guests! Really bad guys doing really bad things! After that, we got less and less visitors. Eventually, they just stopped coming. They aren't the only ones missing either, sad to say. All the residents up in skedaddled too. With them gone, there's practically no one left. In fact, it's a ghost town. These days, it'd be a miracle if guests showed up. It was one turn after another, and now it's just us three. I tell you, this rock has really hit rock bottom. <laughs> ah, I forgot about you, Kamekichi. Sorry about that. That's awful. These guys must be some real creeps. Indeed. Still, we haven't given up just yet. I think if we stay the course, we'll get back on track and return Dontoko Island to its former glory. As you can guess, it's why we've all stuck around. <sighs> then again, maybe we're too far gone. Those mongrels keep dumping and we just can't seem to keep up. Honestly, maybe it's time. Might just have to pack up and say farewell. Don't say that, Matayoshi-san! <laughs> That's right! We're the island's mascots, after all. If we lose this place, we really won't have much else, you know? Oh, right. Apologies. <sighs> oh, sorry! Didn't mean to get all gloomy doomy on ya! <laughs> we should brighten things up! Yes! At least for today! That's right! You're our first guest in a long time! You know what that means! It's time to party! We don't have much to offer, but since it's getting dark, you ought to stay the night. Let loose a little, Kasuga-san. Sure, thanks. We'll make it a night to remember! Oh, I even found these wild mushrooms nearby! woo A party! A mushroom party! Yay! Guess I conked out after the party. Man, what a night. Oh crap, what's going on with Chicha and them? Are they waiting on me? I better give them a call. No service. Oh, hey, Ichiban, check it out. A new text box thing. What's up? Chichan, hi, sorry, a lot happened, and long story short, I'm over at a resort called Dondoko Island right now. D Don Dondo what? You're not making any sense. I know, I just wanted to give you a heads up that it's gonna take me some time to get back. Oh, okay, no worries. I'm gonna need a few more days myself to finish editing the video. You are? Huh. I didn't think it'd take that long. I mean, we want this video to take over the internet, right? So we're gonna need some damn good editing to spruce it up and really sell it. Anyway, don't feel bad about taking this time to kick back and relax on, or what was it? Don Doko Island? I'll reach out once I'm done. Gotcha. I'll leave it in your hands then, no pressure. Well, I guess she won't be finished for a few more days. So I'll just take it easy and look around this island for now. 
We're gonna edit the video, make us look evil. Yeah. To be like, I'm here to kill Hawaii. <laughs> Eesh. This place is seriously a dump. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it may be. Makes a lot more sense now, but I still feel bad for them. For the island, too. Where do I start? I've never handled garbage like this before. Don't want to make things worse. <laughs> Might not be the way, but hey, it's my way. Costa got the cleanup hitter. You can break trash with the bat. Hold the bat, swing the bat. Hold square for sweeping strike. Equip the bat. Equipping the bat will make you dash by default. Oh my god. Is it hero swing? No higher level. <sighs> Takes care of this spot at least. Good morning, Kasuga-san! Wow! Just look at this place! Did you clean this all by yourself? Yeah, I just wanted to thank you for yesterday. Not every day I get the resort treatment. At least I can do. Hey, hey! Talk about spiffy! What? How did you get rid of the trash? I deleted it with my psychic <laughs> powers. I'm not sure what to do, so I smashed it with this. <laughs> You're a wild man! <laughs> Maybe a little, huh? Amazing. With you around, Kasuga-san, we just might set things right. <laughs> well, well. Ain't this a sight? So you got rid of our little gifts, did ya? What's wrong? <laughs> Not up to snuff? Hey. Damn, they the really were the wash bucklers. <laughs> you guessed it. They're the ones responsible for this mess. Waste disposal deviants. The wash bucklers. That guy there, that's their boss, Fukuyama. But to his boys, he's Dread Pirate Hook. Er, come on, Mateyoshi. Deviance is a little strong, don't you think? Unless you want to get smacked around again. Huh? Go on, pick a pile. I'm sure you'll fit right in. <laughs> huh? Who's this loser? Out of the way. I happen to be a guest here, and I gotta be honest with you, pal. You're really killing my vacation time. Ah, you're staying in this trash heap. What are you, stupid? Yes. This place is a shite hole. <laughs> and a big one of that, I mean, really, just look at it. You're doing <laughs> a favor. In fact, I think we ought to be rewarded for it, eh? That's some high and mighty talk. Only hole I see is your mouth. Excuse me? This island you're spitting on's their treasure. And I'm going to kick your asses clean off of it. Ah, says the lone wolf. All right, mates. You know the drill. It's composted time. Taking out the trash. After equipping your bat, pre uh, uh, press square to attack the wash bucklers. Enemy attacks can be dodged by pressing R2. Hold square to perform a sweeping strike, which can be useful when battling... Okay. How's this dodge? Let's do it. Wow. Get lost, will you? Whoa. <laughs> 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 <You> fucking... <laughs> yeah. I, classic Yakuza fans, like, what the fuck? I hate turn base. This is awesome. All right, fine. I'll let you off the hook today. But know this, you and Matt. Yeah. Thank you so much, Kasuga-san. Be straight with me. Yes, though I'm used to it now. I tell you, Kasuga-san, 
If only I was as strong as you, maybe then I'd protect myself, protect this island. <sighs> ah, sorry, guess I dampened the mood again. For all it means to us, this island really isn't much. If so, allow me to see you off. Actually, I'm gonna stick around. Huh? Well, I kinda picked a fight, you know? Those feathers look pretty... If I had to guess, they'll be back. Hey now, last thing you need to do is feel responsible. Besides, it's like I said, there's nothing... Well, here's a thought. Why not just build stuff? What? Ah, you said so yesterday, right? <laughs> this place is supposed to be a resort. So, first, you get rid of the trash. From there, get some fun facilities or whatever up and running. Think about it. There's nowhere to go but up. And from what I've seen, this place is more than capable. I got no patience for pirates. And besides, I really like it here. So how about it? We'll crawl back up together. Kasugasa, we will. Thank you so much. Such a, such a soft handshake. <laughs> I'll say, wilder than wild, huh? I'm, I miss, I miss Ichiban confections. There was a chicken there, an airy. Yeah. Oh boy. his dream. The ultimate challenge. Good for the stars. Get funding to build the five-star resort of your dreams. What's all this about? See, a government back group called the Resorts and Tourism Association is running here this year campaign. As long as you meet their criteria, the association will grant us some funding. Wow. Damn. That's basically what you need right now, isn't it? So what do we gotta do? Uh, popular satisfaction. Yes. People like the island, the more popular it gets, the more visitors we'll receive. And if our island's popular enough with folks, we'll be able to get our name out there. Satisfaction is a quantitative measure that represents how pleased the guests are with the island. Uh, uh-huh. Okay. Our next star requirement. We have to clear out the entrance, the great tree, get a thousand satisfaction and 700 popularity. All right, time to boost in popularity and satisfaction. One star rating, here we come. Um, right, but there's not much on this island aside from trash and the like. I don't even have money or a girlfriend. It's totally irrelevant. If we don't even have money to buy furnishing, we'll just have to make it ourselves. There's plenty of wood and stone, so why not use them as materials to craft something new? Oh yeah, speaking of materials, when I was cleaning up the trash and breaking it down, I found some parts that could come in handy. Maybe we can make even more things with these too. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, run. <laughs> these are purple here, what the fuck? Fuck, this place is purple palm trees. I gotta get five wood logs and five stones. <laughs> it's a survival game. I thought it was Animal Crossing. I guess Animal Crossing is a survival game. Damn, shit's purple. It's like Animal Crossing is like a like a reverse survival game. The characters are trying to survive the mayor. Yeah. <laughs> okay, here we go, guys. Hey! Oh, I, I have to equip my bat. Oh god. <laughs> Just like Power World, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. 
It's like dropping my combo. Well, I need to collect more materials. It's Yakuza. I... This controls like shit. Yeah. It is Destiny Island. There's the Rav. <laughs> this is like Universe One starts. No dodge like roll material. attack. Hold on, I need. I, need oh, I don't have a net. Fuck. Why am I doing this? Head into the shade. Sometimes, sometimes a man's just gotta, just gotta go. You see water, you go. I like how he didn't put on his film suit for this. No, he, he's, he's working. Oh, yeah. I have to go all the way back now. Well, good thing. We got music. I can dive here? Nothing. Wait, I just remembered. Well, we're not allowed to look at our phones, so it doesn't matter. Is that? <sighs> no, no girlfriends. How about a rock? Thank you so much. No, please. No. I don't want to, I don't want to build things. I have to build my own furniture. Fuck. I'm going to love this by the end probably if we're making a giant fucking hotel. Ah. Squat toilet. Alright. People got a shit. <laughs> I'd say I outdid myself. <laughs> <laughs> like this? Perfect. I can't believe this is the first time you've d you've ever done DIY. You're quite skilled with your hands, Koskasan. Now let's install your creation on the island. Got it. Now right, we can put it wherever we want. Oh my God, the song keeps trying to play. Oh God. Selecting furnishing items from your inventory directly. Uh, select furnishing. Select furnishing items from your inventory directly by pressing triangle, or press the touchpad to place them with the edit mode. The more you decorate and enrich the island, the more popular and satisfying it becomes. You can get more furnishing from Mata Matayoshiya, or from crafting DIYs. Furnishing comes in the following categories: furniture can be placed outdoors or indoors. Outdoor furniture can only be placed outdoors. These are large items such as buildings, street lights, and lawn chairs that are not sold at Costco. Rugs can be placed outdoors or indoors, and furniture can be placed on top of these. Wall hangings can be displaced uh, can be displayed on indoor walls, and lodgings and facilities can only be placed outdoors. Okay. Oh, that frame rate. Oh, all right. Well, you got a shit. You're shitting right here. Oh. <laughs> I think I'm starting to get it now. This is hell, and I should leave. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm gonna place a hundred toilets in the high. <laughs> oh man, we're gonna need a lot of materials. Once we need, meet the criteria for satisfaction and popularity, the association will send in someone from the resort viewport. Okay. Okay. Gotta destroy the trash at certain spots. Okay, cool. Who's gonna do all the construction work? Well, a craftsman named Kenzo used to live here, but he left the moment he was out of a job. I'll have to reach out to him. Uh, but Kenzo son goes. Kenzo son goes where the money is, so we'll have to have a little hefty lump sum prepared by then. <sighs> all comes back to money, huh? Guess I could help pay out of my pocket. One second, are you talking about dollars, yen, some virtual coin? Because the only currency accepted here is Doko bucks. Hmm? Is that real money? As real as it gets, it's the official currency of Dondoko Island, but I suppose you don't have any on you, do you, Koska san? Here, take this. Nothing good about being broke after all. As long as you have the Doko bucks, you can go to Kenzo with requests or buy any materials or furniture you may need from my shop. Mata, Sh Mata Yoshia. We've got a daily clearance section that's set up there. So swing by and check it out every day for a new deal. No, I'm not, no. They're exclusive Matayoshi, uh, Matayoshi, uh, furnishings that can only be bought here. Yeah. In the daily furniture corner, a selection of furnishing items will be up for sale every day and can be bought at a discounted price. Sometimes rare furnishings will be included in this lineup, so be sure to stop by and check out these daily deals. Every as the island develops, minutes. you can unlock special facilities such as the chicken coop from exclusive Matayoshi features. Furnituring, I can't read. Furniturings, yes. Once you place these facilities, you can start collecting items from the specialty areas, which will appear near Mato Yoshia. The next day, be sure to take advantage of, okay. The best way is to assist with Dondoko dailies. Everyday tasks to be completed on the island, as well as the collection of the requests we keep in a suggestion box. In return for completing the request, the island's rewarded with a large amount of doko box. Think of it like some kind of part-time job. To make any transaction on Don Doko Island, you'll need the island's currency, doko box. Complete doko, Don Doko dailies and suggestion box requests are in doko box. Don Doko dailies are missions that update every day. The suggestion box contains missions accomplished in stages where you fulfill the center's request. These can be checked in the Dondoko Island menu by pressing whatever the fuck that is. You can sell things. Anything you can har far uh, harvest, anything you can harvest or collect on this island, like mushroom, shellfish, and even fish and insects. They can all be sold in exchange for Doko box. If you manage to collect a lot of specialties, you'll start to become famous for them. And you know what that means, a rise in popularity. So try collecting them all. Okay. Huh. Sounds fun, actually. Bug catching and fishing reminds me of my childhood. I bet there's all sorts of things to collect, considering all the nature on this island. And I hope you enjoy yourself. Here. They're a bit worn out, but now you've got a harpoon for fishing in your very own bug net. Try swapping out, try swapping out your bat to use them. On Dondoko Island, bugs and fish are considered local specialties, and you're free to catch both using your tools. Fishing uses a harpoon. Press left to equip it, then press square in front of the fishing, sign spot, fishing spot signs. You can also catch fish as you swim by pressing square above one silhouette. Bring out the bug net with right to catch insects, then press square after getting close enough to the bug to catch it. Be careful not to get too close. Some insects will run away if they sense your presence. Okay. So I just have to get rid of the garbage, gather materials, and collect all kinds of specialties. Right. Pleasure working with you, Koska san Nice. 
That's a red Dondo bug. Of course it is. What? What else would it be? So... Where's the entrance? Right there? Oh, okay, here I go. I'm gonna start beating ass, everyone. Awful. Did I do it? E. <laughs> e. There's a lot of trash here. Oh, wait, my dailies. I have to crap one furnishing. No fucking way. Gotcha. Easy. <laughs> fucking easy. Uh, unfortunately, R2 is my dodge button, uh, and not my run button. Oh fuck, this is a giant fucking fish, let's go. I'm gonna kill you. No way. No fucking way. Hey, a rare one. Ooh. It was a crab. It was in fact a crab. Gotcha. Squid. El squids. Flounder. Nice. Gotcha. Ichiban's got a fucking arm on him. Nice. I've killed them all. Oh, fuck. Oh, we got a shelf. Nice, nice. What else we got? Wow. Wow. Is, is, it, is, this what you, is this what you do in Animal Crossing? You just fucking run around and just pick shit up and go wow? I do not know. I don't know. <laughs> I, I cannot say. Gotcha Pin and I have been working very hard to record the, the broadcast we play all over the island. Hopefully they'll liven things up. Wouldn't it be neat if we played them at night too? Alright, my day I'm getting my dailies done. Fuck, I have to hold X. It sucks. Well now I need I need more I need more wood. Yeah. This is terrible. Oh, 
once I have sufficient rock, I don't need to farm for it anymore. Of course. Great. Oh, well, there, there's a bug. I gotta go catch it. It was a fucking spider. Uh. Alright. That was a green Dondo bug. People should know about this. Alright, alright, what, what am I doing? Oh my god. <sighs> this is what we're making for our resort? The fuck mats? We're gonna make a chair. Brand spanking new. Nice. Now we're gonna make a. A, a Yakuza finger cutting set. Now, where do I put this? I got. I gotta place something now. Good stuff. That's pretty fast. Somebody! Is this, are you the great tree? I miss Sujimon. <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's the daily furniture corner. Do I want this? I don't want any of this shit. It's awful. <laughs> this is terrible. All right, I did my dailies. We're so back. Are you the great tree? Oh my god. Gotcha. Oh my god. <clears throat> Billy Mon, you're mine. This is the great tree. Fucking where? that plant? <laughs> the, the green plant on the right? That's kind of a great trick. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. No. I was just talking about... Oh Whoa. my god. You have to fight that. Oh. Hey. <laughs> That's impressive. How do you get that all up there? A helicopter? It's, it's gonna turn out they were like, we were just trying to keep the ocean clean. And then it's like, oh yeah, yeah, you know what? Yeah. We're supposed to put our trash in landfills, are we not? Kinda. Supposed to burn it. You can. Uh, a blood moon's about to start. What the fuck's this? Has the purple miasma been there? Oh yeah, I see it. Maybe it shrunk because of the miasma.
No. Oh my god, why did it suddenly appear? How are you liking Dondoko Island so far? This place is great! There's so much nature everywhere you look. Once all the trash gets cleared, I think this island will be a hit resort. Good to hear. Some of the bridges on this island may be broken, but there are plenty of other great spots to okay. visit. Nice. Looking forward to seeing him. By the way, what were you doing all day, Matayoshi-san? Haha, <laughs> I was busy preparing something for you, Kaska-san. A present, actually. Hmm? Really, for me? Of course. Now feast your eyes on this. The house. You live here now. You may not leave. Huh? I miss Airy. Oh man, a whole fucking house? Are you sure? Sure than anything in my life. I really do appreciate your help, Kaskasan. And you've been nothing but cooperative since you got here. Please accept this gift. Sorry, it's a little worn down, but it's the best piece of property on this island so far. It's completely empty inside, so feel free to do whatever you want with it. Decorate with your favorite furnishings, or just plop as many things as you'd like in there. The more you furnish your place, the more it'll feel like home, and nothing beats feeling at home. Here. Here. You can relax and recuperate after a long day of work. Wow. Thank you, seriously. Guess I'll take you up on your offer and make this place my own. Also, there's been some trouble arranging you away back to Hawaii. Preparations won't be ready until the morning after tomorrow. I'm sorry this is happening. And during such a busy time, I hope you don't mind spending a few more days here on the island. Not at all. Not much we can do anyhow. Just let me know when everything's ready. For now, I'll just get some shut-eye in this fine house. I got a nightlight. What's this? I'd like to help you explore at night. Dondoko Island's full of nature, which means it gets very dark very quickly. This will help light your path, if only a bit. Hopefully it proves to be useful. Thanks. Good to know. Thanks for this, then. Just keep in mind, if you're out late exploring, you might feel exhausted the next day. If you're feeling tired, it's a good idea to head home early and get some rest. Right. Okay, I'll be careful. Good. All right, then. Good night, kasuga -san. See you tomorrow. The fuck? Kind of nice inside. What the? I, what? This is all you need. You got, it look like you got places to walk around and talk to yourself. That's great. Mhm. Mm very important. I have very little room in my room to do that. I'm gonna fill the space with all kinds of things to really make this place feel like home sweet home. Furnishing the inside of Casca's home will improve its livability. As livability increases, so will Casca's health, making it harder for enemies to defeat him. The greater the livability, the better shape Casca will be in the next day as well. When Casca is in tip-top form, he will be able to gather more resources. Note that once his HP reaches zero, it will cost Doko bucks to get patched back up. Changing up your room decor. Press the touchpad to change the decor in Casca's room. When, re when redecorating, select Change Interior to customize flooring, wallpaper, and lighting. These options are available for purchase at Mata Yoshia. Ending the day. End your day by checking out the calendar in your home and heading to bed. The later you go to bed, the less health you'll recover. If your health doesn't look all that good, consider calling it uh, a day early and hitting the hay. Okay. My comfort chair. Confirm. Yes. Can I actually go outside? Again. Oh my god. What do, what do we need for our house? What is important furnishing? <laughs> un no. un unneeded. We need the we need the inflatable mattress. PS4. Bloodborne. I like how it says sleazy. They they all have categories as to what they are. This is a sleazy item. This is a rustic item. 
We need another futon. Oh shit, a durable blue green shack? A Janai bus stop? I've always wanted one of those. <laughs> I'm gonna have to get into this fucking mini game to make money in this game, aren't I? Good thing Persona doesn't have any stupid shit like this. I, I fear this. I fear the future. It's actually a pretty slick system. Nothing, nothing too extravagant. It's, uh, that's for the corner. Nice. Looking good. No need to shit. Yes. Oh God. Now that everyone's here, let's start the morning assembly. We have this rule to hold an assembly first thing in the morning and go over what our plans were for the day. And if we had any visitors, we'd discuss how to keep them satisfied. Well. Not that we have any accommodations for them right now. We can't invite any guests just yet. But it'd be real nice if we could invite them someday soon. That way the economy can thrive. All right, let's get started. Today I'd like to introduce you all to a new island resident. Hmm. A new resident? Right, here he is, in the flesh, Kenzo-san. Hey, been a while. Ah. Kenzo-san, I heard you left this island for some other place. I'm so happy you're back. Who the fuck's this? Why, only one of the best craftsmen in the world. Kenzo-san's even got experience as a carpenter and construction worker to boot. Indeed. He's gonna be handling all the site clearing, repairs, and infrastructures here. Impressive. This is the guy Matsuyoshi-san was talking about yesterday. Uh, don't get me wrong. I don't hate this island, but I can't put foot on the, I can't put food on the table without a job. It was a tough decision, but I got a call from Matsuyoshi yesterday saying he was gonna rebuild this island. So I booked it back here as soon as I heard. Oh, how noble of you. You're Kaskasan. Matsuyoshi's told me about you. You're gonna help us whip the island into shape, right? Thanks for that. Name's Kenzo. When it comes to infrastructure, I'm your guy. I still gotta get things set up though, so let's talk shop tomorrow. Okay. Alright, cool. I uh, will be able to clear out any contaminated areas. Alright, but how do I ask him for his help? Clearing a site can be done anytime as long as you've got the money, but the more polluted an area, the more it'll cost. <sighs> Hey, I'm not trying to rip you off here. The more polluted the place, the more tools and vehicles we're going to need to clear it. That's just facts. But if you destroy the trash and clear the area bit by bit every day, it'll be less work for Kenzo-san, and that'll lower the cost for him to clear the site. Just use your best judgment to decide when the best time to clear the area based off your current budget. When you request a site clearing, the area will be cleared of trash and ready for development. Clearing out contaminated areas will require doko bucks as well as building talent, which increases your increases as you craft DIYs. Note that the cost to request a site clearing can be lowered by clearing the area of trash yourself and improving the island's cleanliness. You can check the amount of building talent and doko bucks required for the site clearing from the map in the menu or at signs near the contaminated areas. You can also place a site clearing request at the same sign. Okay, so basically I should save up money and destroy trash until I get to a point where I can ask Kenzo-san to clear it for me. Yes, exactly. Oh, it's chick- it. He can upgrade our tools. If you improve livability, then Kenzo will approach you about home expansions. Kenzo can upgrade your tools for a price. Upgrading the bat and bug net increases the swing speed, and upgrading the harpoon increases the targeting aim speed. 
Each of these tools can be upgraded up to four times. If you have the Doka Bucks to spare, it'd be in your best interest to get these enhanced to the max. Let's do our best today. What to do? Real exciting stuff, you see. I miss Airy. Fuck, I have dailies. Fuck. Well, we have to craft something. I like how the trash gets re put in overnight. I can't believe I'm having to use claw inputs to run and then hit the D-pad. <laughs> Fuck, man. It's so comfortable, though. I'm so, I, I kind of like it. All right, what, what are we building? Hmm. Horsey. You want a horsey? I agree. Say I outdid myself. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. Uh we need a garden table. Where are the lawn chairs? <laughs> right here. <laughs> Toilet. <laughs> I don't know. I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a row of toilets. He's just making them out of rocks. Oh. Out of wood? <laughs> Where do I put this? We need a lamp in our room. <laughs> Obviously. Love lamp. Love lamp. Oh, well, can't. Have... Oh my god, hold on. Guys, hold on, hold on. I don't. Wait, 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 wait. I gotta catch this bug. Oh, I missed. Sorry. Oh, thank god. The Sujinoko definitely real now. Hold on, I need more wood. Good thing these trees respawn overnight. Oh yeah. When can I leave Destiny Island? You know what the best part of this is, Tommy? I couldn't fathom what the best part is. That that this will this will somehow end up in Star Rail. <laughs> Oh, Reminder sure. that the first major event of Star Rail and I think it was 1.1 uh, the the museum event was just the uh, uh, business mini game from Seven. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Break! Damn it! All right, how, how are we looking? Is this what you would do in Power World? I'm never playing this fucking playing that fucking game. Yeah. I, this is not happening. I'm I'm good. I'm good, bro. All right, well, let's get our uh, community bench out. Let's watch people. Oh fuck! I didn't make the bench yet. Hold on. Fuck! I need more wood to make the bench. We're gonna make two. I say I outdid myself. Oh, and I'm almost leveling up, so we need the info booth sign. Great, great. We leveled up. Now we can make a public bathroom. Oh, we need we need a lot of juice for that. Fuck! I need I need to destroy. I need to destroy junk files. Hold on. Okay, let me put the bench <laughs> right here. <laughs> full, full view. And then they can they can look at the trash. Is 
It's just not right. It, it, <laughs> I need to catch bugs. Shit. Shit, shit. How much time do I have left? Nice. Okay, I got through bugs. Gotcha, Peen. Where are you? Welcome. Gotcha, Peen. That's so nice. I have to go destroy 20 junk piles. Here I go. Not those. I have like any cancel tech that I can work with here. It's definitely one at a time. good got plenty of time left in the day which what should we do we, the, we could do anything we want except leave we can't do that <laughs> we can keep clearing out trash to get more materials can we kill ourselves <laughs> it appears to not be an option uh, because i think we're already in hell dead Let me know in the comments if this amuses any of you so I can ban you from my channel. Because I never want to speak to someone who finds this enjoyable again. No, I will not eat my words when it turns out I've spent 100 hours off stream in this minigame. I, I, if the hour count looks suspicious, it definitely was not this. See, Alex, the, the ultimate... You know, goal about the survival games is that you get enough resources so you, you can b build the machine that automates this process. Oh, yeah. Yes. So that you can yes. build a second machine that automates the process so it goes twice as fast. Oh, right? my God. The number goes up and you get endorphins when that happens. Oh, my God. That's right. I, I mean, that's kind of uh, the name of the game here in Yakuza. You gotta, you gotta keep clicking. You need to receive item. <laughs> It's like gotcha. so, like in Pal World, right? Like at first you have to cut down the trees, but then you can like enslave the Pal up. to do it for you. Oh my god, you're right. Oh, and look at that! That was gold. That was gold, Tommy. That means I'm happy. That is good. exactly. Oh, uh, I'm so happy it, that was a gold beetle. And if the Pal stuff, you know, isn't as good as like a new Pal you get, you could just eat the old one. Yeah, well, apparently you're just supposed to fucking like. If they nice. if they get like uh, uh, what was the word Pat used when I was listening to the Castle Super Beast? Uh, when they get uppity, okay. um, uh, you just get rid of them and go catch a new one that is uh, complacent. I came that came uh, I think has 20, 20 million copies sold so far. That's crazy. Yeah, it, it really is. Gotcha. Ooh, ooh, nice. Now we can cook. Dude, and then once we get more of an island... Oh, man, we can go anywhere. And we can we can farm anything we want. Should I go in there with my hands and catch fish? Can you? No. Sora can. <laughs> I believe I'm allowed to. Nice. Yeah. Oh, there you go. That's a salmon. The king of the fish. I would be scared shitless if that was. Hey. Oh. That was a crab again. Gotcha. Kinda li I kind of like. That's way faster. I kind of like shooting them. Can I dodge roll off the deck? Shh, fucking garbage. Suck. Nice. The fuck is that? Away we go. Away we go. Nice. 
And away we are. Gotcha. We've done it. Oh, it's getting so late, dude. Can't wait to go home and furnish my house. Yeah. Shit, we worked so hard today. What what can we make to put in our beautiful home? A public restroom? <laughs> Large container, a durable blue green shack. A second futon. Oh, we need a cushion. Those look great. I'm home. Gotta customize. I like put it on the chair. Okay. Yeah, we're just gonna leave cushions on the ground. Do you, do you believe anything we just put in this house has improved our livability? Uh, um, How do I change the walls? Um, I mean, men can be happy with so little. So really, is it like, did it improve our happiness? Yeah, I guess it's the same thing, right? Well, let's see what we got for interiors. Oh, this is what's really going to do it. All right, man, what a hard day at work. I can't wait to do my dailies tomorrow. I'm not allowed to kill myself yet. <laughs> I, <see. laughs> no. I have to go back outside. I wasn't allowed to stop yet. I, uh, damn. Damn, I got a shit and or cut my dick off. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, are we hurt? I don't think so. Let's go. Let's go talk to our best oh. friends. Hey, this one just came in. I don't want that. This one just came in. Oh fuck, that's a Japanese. This one just came in. This one just came in. Oh shit. Oh man, that's gonna change everything. And we're gonna make it all white to make us go insane. This one uh, just came in. Hmm. How about this one? I need the Japanese style window. I don't know what it's for. These are roads. Like, that's important. Need all these Hope things. Hope to see you again soon. Get the fuck out of here. Man, what what's a bench without a nice bush behind it? <laughs> what? It's true. Oh, sure lived it up today. Oh, hold on. There's more trash I need to go punch in a tree. No cancel combo into the the net. Damn. I, I I can't I can't weapon swap for faster recovery to catch that bug quicker. I'm an efficient worker. I'm Ichiban Koska. I don't fucking slack off. 
I make durable blue and green shacks. Look at that. Home sweet home. Home sweet fucking home. Oh, that green shack looks really nice. Shit. Oh, man. The entrance. Can you put it right next to that? Oh. Has to be in here? It's just showing me the grid. Okay, I see. Toilet on top of it. That's so sad. We're getting somewhere. <laughs> Suddenly, this is looking like a place I want to go. <sighs> oh no! Actually, I I gotta guys. Hold on. Oh my God. Shit. Whoa. What fucking wall am I on? Where the fucking... Can I zoom out? Oh, thank you. Kind of nice. Kind of nice. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh, it's the we are in the back rooms. <laughs> oh no. Not the fucking isolated cell. Ooh. <laughs> What kind of place? Oh, I'd like to inform you that my dad has like 1,000 hours of Animal Crossing and he'd probably enjoy this. I'm starting to get it. I'm so, uh, it's, it's, the hard work pays off. You know, I put a, I hooked up a dryer earlier. There's something, something about that. Uh, however, I would like to get back to the mainland. Offland mainland. It goes nuts. <laughs> hmm? Someone's in a good mood. What's up, Muku? Oh, what you got there? Indeed. This here is a Tanuki statue I bought with my secret stash of money, you see? I thought it'd boost overall satisfaction if I decorated the island with it. Just trying to help out, you know. <laughs> so what do you think? Isn't it stunning? Doesn't it feel real in your face right here in the middle of the plaza? Uh, y yeah, sure. Why not, even though it's kind of in the way. Good morning, everyone. Let's get this morning assembly started. Let's keep aiming for the first, yeah. Let's make it a good day, huh? Okay, let's see. Real exciting stuff, you see. Get me out of here. Guys, there's trouble. What's wrong, Kenzo-san? The washbucklers. That's what. what. Huh? Aren't they the crappy waste disposal company that keeps harassing Oi. us? Crappy waste disposal company, you say? Just tear out my heart, why don't you? I'm skipping the dialogue. He's declaring war. This rocks our dump. Eh. No, not the Tanuki. You 
keep up the hard work. Maybe this trash heap really will be restored to its former resort glory. But not while I'm around. Holy shit. There's gonna be ah. infinite money inside of it. Ah! My Tanuki statue! The hell was that for? Weren't you listening, mate? I said this whole rock is our landfill. And if you want to get rid of our trash heap, then we'll just have to get rid of you. Your five-star dream resort is damn near impossible, and you do well to remember yeah. that. Keep your eyes peeled, Don Bozos. I'll be sending in my men in droves. Have fun. They're not the type to play Beat nice. Until then, hope you lot come around. Ichiban, kill him. We're in international waters or something. Uh -huh. mm, that's a good point. How much money is going to be inside the, the Tanuki? Feels like nothing's changed at all. Even back when the island was bustling, they still came here to dump their garbage and destroy the lodgings. No matter how much effort we put in. It's all moot when they've got us in check. Now they're back at it again. But I won't stand for this any longer. This is our island. I can't let them step all over me just because I'm afraid of getting hurt. Enough is enough. We can't let him get away with this. We'll just have to beat him up. Leave it to me. Just, we're gonna beat ass. Yeah, we're probably gonna be able to make like guard bots and shit. Totally. Ugh. Beware pirate attacks. The washbucklers will now attack on Doko Island. When you battle them, some functions will become unusable, such as edit mode. Once you drive them away with your trusty bat, the washbucklers will drop Dodoko bucks in their wake. Okay. Have you heard Dolphine's back? Hmm? Uh, who's Dolphine? Oh, hmm. It'd be easier to show than to have me explain. Please follow me to the beach. What about those pirates that were here? Miss Dolphin, are you Dolphin? Just like FF7. Oh damn, an actual Dolphin! <laughs> this sweet lady's Dolphin? That's right. Lately, she's been traveling the seas, but now that she's finally home, you can take her for a ride back to Hawaii. Wait, did did you just say I have to ride a dolphin? What's wrong with the boat? Dolphin's much faster than your average boat. You're a busy man, Koska-san, so I highly recommend catching a ride over to her, uh, over on her, over some dinghy vessel. Uh, okay, gotcha. You can always find Dolphin here at Dondoko Beach. So whenever you want to go back to Hawaii, just call for her. <laughs> C caught it. Pleasure to meet you, Dolphin. You can now return to Hawaii. Talk to Dolphin when you want to go home. Get me out of here. Oh, but wait. There's stuff on the beach I've never seen. No, you have to leave. Oh, but, you know, I got my dailies I gotta go do. And that's a butterfly I've never seen before. Oh, but my friend's back home. Oh, oh, but there are fish over there. I'm coming for them. But they're going to still be there when you get back. Oh, yeah, I guess I can just come back. Okay. I've, uh, I've transported via dolphin before. Cool. What? Hey, me. they're there. You grabbed onto a, you've grabbed onto a dolphin before? Yeah. Are you sure you didn't just, like, mix this up with, like, Kingdom Hearts memories or something? No, you have you have held on to the the fin of a dolphin at like. Uh, yeah. I guess they do that shit at aquariums, right? Yeah, it wasn't at an aquarium. It was um, my family went on a cruise ship when I was a kid. Yeah, and like it stopped at like a place. I don't know. Yeah, the Bahamas. I think it was. I'm not actually sure. Um, <laughs> uh, and like they at and there was like a thing set up there, right? Where it's like yeah. they they would train like rescue dolphins. Area, but yeah, the idea. So it's like you yeah. know like. You send well, oh shit! People fall off a boat. You send in the dolphins. No animation uh, for the dolphin. Huh. Yeah. What's, what's okay? Because I'm gonna describe it to you. 
Yeah, I, it, good thing you're here. Uh, yeah, so I'm like, I'm pretty little at this point. Like, I'm like six to eight, right? Yeah. Uh, and, and they, so they just have this, like, you know, like, uh, not pool, but like, you know, like, uh, how you'll have, like, they'll have, like, a structure built into the ocean that still yes. contains the ocean yeah, water. Yeah, right? yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I went to something like that on a Disney cruise. Yeah, whatever the fuck it's called. And they had, like, stingrays in there, and I'm like, I'm not going in the island with the stingrays that kill you. And it's um, like, well, no, they won't actually hurt you, but I was scared of the ocean still. But anyway, so, like, the idea is that, like, you know, you swam out a distance by yourself, right? Yep. And then you just waited, and the dolphin would pop up, and you'd grab onto the dolphin, and he'd bring you back to, the, like, the where everyone else was. I feel so like was, that's, like, a, like, really easy to slip off grabbing a dolphin. Yeah, so, like, I didn't mess up or anything, but I'll tell you, you know, I'm just sitting out there waiting for the dolphin to show up. I had never been more scared in my life than when the dolphin popped out of the water. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, holy shit. Uh, yeah. But he just, he was chill. Like, he just waited. Yeah. And you're like, all right. And then you and grabbed his fin and it just it, went. It just kicks, it just goes, yeah. And then, okay. <laughs> and then you went back and you were crying and you're like, holy yeah. shit. Well, good for you. Yeah, I was like, I was scary. I thought it was a shark. And my mom was like, that's bad, Tommy. You shouldn't think dolphins are sharks. And you're like, that's not <laughs> oh, what yeah. I That's not what I said. <laughs> it could have, like, you, you could have popped out there and I would have thought it was a shark because I was scared <laughs> shitless of being out in open water. <laughs> All right, they got the video done. Um, now I'm skipping main character dialogue. Wow. <laughs> Oh, mm -hmm. worth the effort if you ask me. Want to check it out over at Revolt? Totally. Of course I do. Let's go. I have to come back to the beach. Oh my god. And survive is our. Alright, yeah, let's do it. No, we have a conversation up here. Help. Help. Oh, look at all the goodies here. Just like the old-timey sweet shops back home. You're into Japanese sweets? Yeah, they're all so bright and colorful. Although, I've never actually gone and bought any myself. Really? Never? Nope. Only read about them in books. I'd love to actually try them sometime. And I gotta take you to a real old-fashioned mom-and-pop shop back in Japan. Some even give out bonus prizes. Heck, you can pick up the 300 yen worth of snacks. My treat. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> no pun intended. Thank you. We're really opening Did up. Did we do it? Finally. Damn, we're so close now. Two. Awesome. That should do it for the upload. The video turned out really good, too. You sure know how to put on a show, Ichiban. You think you'd do this for a living. I don't know if I mention it, but despite my looks, I did run for an election once. <laughs> an election? For what? I mean, like, a real election. And this wasn't for student council no, or something? No, prime minister. If they elected me, I would have been a politician. Seriously? Good grief, man. Is there anything you haven't done? Just wrote a dolphin. Whoa, no way. We already got a DM. Wonder who from. What? Don't tell me it's from Akane-san. Unlikely. Uh, nope. Some guy named... Hey! Eiji. He wants to know if we can meet him somewhere. Eiji? Wait a sec. You mean Eichon? It's my guy. Uh, so we got Eichon's attention at least. Tomizawa, you remember, right? Uh, you know, the guy in the wheelchair who chased you off when we first met? Oh, him. Yeah, I remember. So, what's the plan? Oh, kill him. You want to meet up with him? That all right with you, Kiryu-san? I wasn't listening. He's a buddy that helped me out my first day here. I was thinking about Knowing taking him, my shirt off. Sure I want to show my tattoo off. Sure. 
You've got nothing pressing right now. Why not? Awesome, thanks. Okay, yeah, let's take him up on that. All right, I'll ask where's best for him. He said over by the Anaconda Shopping Center. That should be fine, yeah? Yeah, no problem. Now, where's Akane-san? It's too bad we can't meet her this easily. Okay. We're in the shopping mall down there. Oh, maybe maybe we should we should finish out this fucking sub story that we spent half an hour on earlier, and then I think we'll call it, and then uh, we'll get back to Yakuza when we do. Speaking of uploading videos, I haven't even rendered out the uh, the Tactica highlight video yet. Go. You saw a thumbnail, right? Uh, yes. I, I sent it at like 7 a.m. Because I, I always end up making thumbnails in like uh, in a tizzy. What the fuck? There was a guy. Oh. Huh. I was pretty happy with what I had for it. <laughs> Did you make it out of the rain all right last time, Kiana? The storms here are so much more intense than Japan's. It seriously caught me off guard. <laughs> mm. Oh. Right. Are you taking donations still? Here, let me help. Oh, man. Is the Y trying to give her even more money? Um. Do you think you could maybe... Stop coming here? Huh? Sorry, I, I didn't catch that. What were you saying? It kills me every time I take someone's money. Every time I take your money! Please, just don't go looking for me anymore. I I'm so sorry. Yana, is something wrong? Please wait. Well, that was weird. I should go see if everything's all right. <clears throat> there, okay. Oh, I know what she we should do. Cause I'll probably do some stuff off stream at this point, like you know. Oh, well, oh, 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 okay. Ah, what the hell are you thinking? Why didn't you take his damn money? That Japanese fellow is easy pickings, you know. You better squeeze every penny out of him. I, I don't want any part of this anymore. I want to quit. <laughs> do you even hear yourself? How are you planning to pay back the rest of your debt then? Just do as we say, and you'll make your money back. Now get back out there and scam those damn tourists! Got it? So shut your trap and go bat your eyes at that loser. No, forget it. I don't want to keep lying to him anymore. <laughs> you don't get a say in this, bitch! Stop! M Mr. Sawai! D you stop right there, don't hurt her! And who the hell are you? Hold up, this is the sucker we've been stringing along. Who would have thought he'd come straight to us? <laughs> well, don't tell me you're here to uh, support our cause. You're one enthusiastic donor, I'll give you that. You better step away from Kiana. She means the world to me. <laughs> or else what? Then, then you'll have to get through me. Mr. Sawai! Should have just kept ogling her and paying up. This girl's still got a lot of use out of her pretty face. Ain't no way she's getting off for free. You're gonna suck her dry. Oh, I'm sorry, we're gonna suck her dry. <laughs> this is, this is the. This is. The, <laughs> it's like a fart out of her ass. Says so Sawai. Ichiban goes. I don't think I would. <laughs> I, I, I've been having real bad. I, I've 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 not been like flipping words around. I've just been getting words wrong tonight. <laughs> yeah. 
This is the kind of fuck ups that get you in trouble. Huh? Get away from her! I won't let you do that! Come on, fuck him up real good. Suck him dry. Ah. <laughs> uh, uh. Like you're tough shit, don't you? Huh. <laughs> Maybe we ought to kill him. Knock it off! I'll do whatever you say, so please, just stop. Kiana! Uh. Glad you're catching on. Come on! We're through with this chump. Just nab his money and toss him. You got a boss. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it all. Hey, pull yourself together, man. Kazakasan, I'm so frustrated with myself. I couldn't protect her at all. You were great, man. Why didn't I step in? Okay, that didn't get very far. Hold on. Oh, what now? How about you step away from the girl? Huh? Why the hell should we? You got nothing to do with her. <laughs> well, you see that girl gave me a flower before and I didn't get the chance to thank her yet. Oh, and by the way, what? That guy you socked earlier, he's a good friend of mine. So no way in hell am I gonna get be, be the bigger person and let that punch slide. <laughs> you don't spewing bullshit yet? If you care about your little friends so much, then we'll have them bury the both of you together. You're Level one. Okay, you asked for it. Okay, I'm up. Oh. Come on. Don't they don't know. Nothing personal. The hell is wrong with this guy? He's way too strong. So you're the ones behind the donation scams? Just let her go already. Hasn't she made enough money for you assholes? Huh. If I catch you guys duping people again, I'm gonna beat this lesson into your heads until it sticks. Got it? G got it! We won't ever run another scam again, ever! You okay, Kiana? Yeah, thank you for saving me. If you're gonna thank someone, thank him. He's the one who put his neck on the line trying to save you. Ichiban, I'm dying. Oh, oh. Right. Uh, thank you so much, Mr. Sawai. I never imagined you'd get roughed up for my <laughs> sake. <laughs> oh, I'm just glad you're safe, Kiana. And I'm so sorry for lying to you this whole time. The donation thing was a ruse. <laughs> when I was younger, my parents up and disappeared one day, leaving me with all their debt. I was at a complete loss until those people showed up. They told me there was a way to help people and make money at the same time. So I jumped at the opportunity. But I was an idiot. The whole job was a scam, and I was just fooling tourists into donating. <laughs> By then, it was too late to back out. I spent day after day asking for fake donations, and my earnings were only enough to pay back the interest. <laughs> At first, it pricked my conscience, yeah, but eventually, I became numb to the guilt. It felt like nothing could spark joy in my life anymore. Because of them, I tricked so many people, including you. Mm. But of all those people, one of them showed someone as awful as me. Kindness. 
Every time that person came to visit me, he only had nice things to say. He even gave me an umbrella one rainy day, leaving him running around soaking wet. Who was it? I'll kill him. I'm talking about you, Mr. Sawai. Oh. Kiana. I'm a horrible person, and I honestly don't deserve your sympathy. But it's been such a long time since anyone's treated me that way. You made me really happy. And yet, at the same time, it, it killed me. It did? I couldn't bear the fact that I was cheating such a kind soul, but I kept at it anyway. Even though you knew I've been lying this whole time, you were always smiling at me. And every single one of your smiles gutted me like a knife. I wanted to smile back at you, but I, I, I couldn't bring myself to. The guilt was too much. It felt like it was crushing me. I just didn't want to hurt you or hurt myself anymore. So I ran. But in the end, you wound up in danger all because of me. I am so sorry. Oh. Please don't cry, Kiana. It pains me to see your tears. Besides, you haven't hurt me at all. Truth be told, I'm actually grateful for what you've done. Huh? What do you mean? I've done such awful things, both to you and other people. Maybe you were only kind to me so that you could scam me, but you showed me kindness nonetheless. My old workplace back in Japan wasn't the greatest. I was mocked and ridiculed. Nobody had anything nice to say. Every single day, I couldn't help but think that there was no reason for someone as useless as me to live. I just couldn't take it anymore, so I ran away to Hawaii. But then, you and Kasuga-san came into my life. You helped me when I was having trouble finding my hotel. There are kind people out in this world. Sure, it didn't seem like much, but neither of you probably even realized that you saved me then. So why? Scamming people is wrong, of course. But even then, I was happy you were so nice to me. So thank you, Kiana. Please don't be too hard on yourself. I only hope to see that lovely smile of yours again. Mr. Sawai. That's nice. Thank you for everything, Kasuga-san. Truly, thank you so much. Don't mention it. So, what are you two gonna do now? Fuck. I've been thinking, and maybe it's best I atone for my crimes. I want to be able to face Mr. Sawai, guilt-free, with my head held high. I get that. Gonna suck him dry. And once I'm in the clear, I'll work hard to pay off all my debt, so I can live a better life. <laughs> you mean the two of us will, right? <laughs> right. Oh, come on. The honeymoon phase already? Give me a break. I'm sorry about that, but I am serious about Kiana. I want to spend the rest of my life with her. I want to work with her, help her pay off the debt. As long as we're together, it doesn't matter how simple our lives will be. I just want to stay at her side. <laughs> sure, we might be moving really fast, but I mean every word. Is that so strange? Yeah. I think you're fine. I'm not going to tell you how to live your love life. Heck, I'll be rooting for you too. I can't believe you look like death when we first met. You're so full of life right now, man. You finally found a reason to live. And Kiana's not the only one with a beautiful smile. Yours is pretty great, too. First in smiles, Ichiban Confections. <laughs> Ever heard of that little slogan? Um, uh, nope. Can't say that I have. Eri, what have you anyway, been doing? You've been a big help, Kasuga. Eri. Here, take this. The happy lay. Uh, I really can't thank you enough. Do take care. Thanks. You too. Good luck, man. Hmm? Oh dear. This is quite the conundrum. Oh. 
Is something the matter, ma'am? Is there anything we can do to help? Oh, why, thank you. I've been looking for this hotel, actually. I believe it's called Beachside. Do you mean Seaside Hotel, by chance? That place is very special to us. We could take you there ourselves. Oh, right. That's the place. Thank you very much. What a sweet couple you are. Real nice <laughs> a couple folk, of though, besties. Too. Sure, they came from different corners of the world, but yeah, I don't know how that one is gonna thing. work out. Guess a little kindness goes a long way. I hope you guys keep on keeping on. <gasps> Sam. All right. Uh, so skip all the the sappy. Skip all the sappy, <laughs> se seemingly sappy sub stories. Yeah, because that's yeah. That's, that's... Oh, that was twenty. Just, just 20. Oh, these people finally free to leave the garage. Have we been here? What's this? Oh yeah, we went over here, which does have to say. There's so many pretty flowers out here. All in fresh bloom. You got a favorite flower, Chichon? Hmm, what do I like? Maybe roses? Roses. They sure are classy. I've actually tried growing some, but it's really hard. They're surprisingly delicate. Tricky to water and a royal pain to prune. <sighs> you can imagine how proud I was when I finally got them to grow. <sighs> Makes me wonder if I'll ever have my day in the sun. Shijun? Oh, nothing. Just thinking out loud. Roses sure are tough, huh? Uh, even with the barbs and beauty, they still gotta struggle to the top. I think I understand a little better now. Thanks, Jichan. Not sure you need to thank me, but <laughs> I guess you're welcome. All right. But does Chicho say mean Rose? I feel like I've gotten to know them well. I just don't know. All right. Last things last. Let's unlock a job. Spend all my <laughs> fucking money unlocking a job. Yeah. But it's like it's the thing to do. What if it sucks? Then it was still the thing to do. You're right. Hi. Welcome. What sparks your interest? Uh, all right. I'm still lacking. <laughs> but I did. Yeah, sixteen hundred. Fuck. That means it's good. Enjoy. Your Oh, I need money. A big lobster. I feel like I should do these when there's uh, when I have more party members, but I think it might just be these guys for Hawaii. <sighs> this is the life. <clears throat> Try this. <clears throat> She's about to get fucking knocked. <sighs> uh, sorry. Oh, okay. Oh, you boys. Here. Come on, man. What's your aim? What, my fault? I'm gonna spike this next one. Yeah, keep talking. Come on, let me add it. Heads up! Oh, I eat too fast. <gasps> you two knock it off! Whoa, dude! <laughs> <laughs> what a smash! Did you see that swing? She was like... <gasps> Fuck is this job gonna do? Right. Here comes another. <laughs> Tennessee's. I, All right. Gun attacks, I guess. A bit unfortunate it was a Chitose job, considering uh, she already had the best jobs. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, she's about to get another one, maybe. Uh, Always so hard to choose. Physical, a true athlete who utilizes high agility, health, and attack power to serve fiery speed and electric velocity. Gun, damages an enemy with an ace serve to get the game underway. Lover's lob, send an enemy a love letter courtesy of your tennis ball with a high chance to charm them and lower their defense. Okay. Thunder slice, damages a line of enemies with an electric shot. Speedy super serve. Get an enemy into the game. Never misses. Ignores guard and applies your weapon's attributes. What the fuck? 
Decrease the attack and magic of enemies with some shredding air guitar. Practice your serves on an enemy. It never misses and ignores guard. Ignores buffs. Ignores guard. What yeah. Yeah, that seems okay. Uh, not, not too convinced on that one. All right. Oh shit, hold on, I got a friend. And now Kason's gonna message me and be like, hey, you've gotten enough friends. All right. I am still overwhelmed by this game, yet I keep playing it. A lot to happen in the story still. A lot to happen. In the story like still, god, yeah. god damn, a lot has to happen. We've the, the shoe has not dropped yet. We right? are still in the middle of the the wheels uh, getting spun, but we did just get past what is probably our final <laughs> big tutorial. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, because like is. I feel like we're just now kind of getting past like kind of what we knew from the trailers. Uh. Yeah, pretty much. Like. Um, we pretty much knew everything that's happened thus far, except like some minor details. Yeah, but I'm, I'm curious how our, our our old crew members are gonna rejoin the fray. Yeah, cause it, but, and there's like new ones too, cause the the female uh, mafia runner. I, I don't remember her name. Mm -hmm. uh, she she's a playable character this time around. So, well, what was this? The fifth episode, fifth stream. Yeah, they've all been like five hours, and I really haven't done anything off stream. Yeah, I might, I might play. I'll, I'll I'll try and get money off stream. Is like definitely the thing to do here. But I might even do some sub stories if they look like they're not going to be super interesting. Mm -hmm. If they seem like they're going to be cool, I'll just not do them. But also, really good chance I just might not even touch this game for the uh, the time being. Like Don Doko Island, that's like pure off stream. Who gives a fuck? That was that, that shit was boring. Uh. Yeah, and the Sujimon stuff is probably also pretty fucking boring. Oh, I did get stuff out of... What are these? Oh. This is items. I thought it was handed something else. Maybe it's... Oh, maybe it's exclusive. Yeah, it was just that. Okay. Alright. Well. I think that's all for now. See you guys tomorrow at midnight. Well. Yeah, I guess tomorrow at midnight... Yeah, that's technically right at this point. Tomorrow, literally and uh, mentally. Is it too much of a Persona reference to do it at midnight? That's exactly why I will be doing it. At <laughs> well, you see, the East Coast has the uh, has the has the canon release time at the dark yeah, hour. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it, 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 it unlocks at nine p.m. in uh, uh, Cali. In Cali, yeah, I'm in the the West Coast. So that's cool. And then I'll probably play it. It'll unlock at midnight. I'll play it then, and then later that day into the next day, I will play it again. And then it'll probably just be two or three. And then uh, a couple more Yakuza, and then everything else that's fucking releasing. So, oops, excuse me. I'll see you around, guys. Whatever it happens to be, I'm streaming. Later.